Don't say something crazy. Bro, Chick fil A done messed up my order twice in a month. No. And they normally don't do that. So now that you're saying your well, order wait, hold up, on. No, no, no. I ordered this on DoorDash. It says small, medium, but it didn't give a large option. So I thought the medium was the no, size No, that just means no. they don't sell large. Yeah, they don't sell large. Yeah. Oh, damn. I, I went to Popeyes three days ago. They got my whole order correct. Whoa. Whoa. Not only that, but she Popeyes. said, she said, please and thank you. Whoa. That's actually more. No, no cap. I was surprised. Yes. Oh, wow. That's actually more surprising than Chick-fil-A getting it wrong. Yeah. No exaggeration. I left so happy. Wow. I was like, I cannot believe they got my order right and smiled when I walked in. They said, please and thank you. Yeah. They were so, they were happy too. Like when I walked in, they Where weren't like, go? uh, like at seven, six, seven PM. And they and were, you went. That's rush hour for um Popeyes. Yeah, I just picked up my order though. I just ordered online. I oh, picked it up. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh you smart. Yeah, man. Yeah. It was it was it was such a beautiful. My the fries were a little cold, but aside from that though, great mm, meal. Wow, surprising. Meal. That's surprising. That's surprising. Indeed. Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Peer to Peer Podcast, man. I'm your host Agent Zero. We also got Yo, the podcast. We be listening one only Legend Morning, aka Low. We got somebody in the back. <laughs> We got the Chipotle Don the Con barbecue sauce is what I like for fun. John in the building. Let's go. <laughs> that's Yo, niggas. That's that is the poetry. whitest you. <laughs> that is the whitest YouTube intro I've ever heard in my life, nigga. <laughs> you know, I saw a girl doing her first YouTube video, and I realized it just it's nostalgic. It's coming back to when I first started. Yeah. Mm. What's good, YouTube? It's me, Brittany, back with another video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Coming back with another video on your first one is crazy. Yeah. Coming back. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Nah, nah that's crazy. I'm you mean, back with another video. Yeah, nah. Man. Hey, man, look, if y'all new to the podcast, man, you haven't already, click that big red subscribe button, peer to peer. The video is available at peer to peer on YouTube. Uh, there's Apple Podcasts, there's Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, but there's no audio Mac. Make sure to say fuck you to that garbage platform, that horrible, awful platform. If you guys watch or listen anywhere else, we appreciate y'all. We have Peer to Peer Uncut. We've been dropping steady content. Um, so portions of the podcast that we can't upload here or would make the podcast too long, make it on there. So make sure to click the top link in the description and skedaddle over there. We have no ads this podcast. So peer to peer uncut will be our ad. So go ahead, click that top Facts. link in the description <laughs> and, uh, let's get into it, man. Facts. This mac and cheese got a, a lot of soul in it. I love that. From Chick-fil-A. Have you, have you tried, have you a tried, lot of soul from Chick-fil-A. Have you tried the Popeye's yet? I haven't tried the Popeye's. How it's, is it? It's, it's, it's on. For real? It's on par. It's on, it's par. on par. This, this I can't. Here, I, I'm not gonna say it's better, but it's on par. Like wow! The, like you know, sometimes you know when you on Thanksgiving you try to get the mac and cheese with the cheese crust on top. Yeah, they, they, yes. they fuck which is which is crazy yes. that they always use cheese crust with always. Chick Fil A. Always, always. Oh. which is very. You never get no. That means they dead ass. Mac. That's like mac and cheese mac. That ain't like uh, no. Yeah. It ain't yeah, pasta. Yeah. It makes me feel so. Yeah, good. no, it like ain't, it ain't pasta. It ain't cheesy noodles. It's, that it's makes me feel great. I can taste like every bite just screams nigga. Okay, I, just, I taste it. Okay, yeah, you couldn't just say southern, but okay, or, or, or nah, cheesy. Nah. Yeah, that, that 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 that's not breaking the news. Mm. Oh, I like I like your I like soulful. That was descriptive. That's not yeah. that's not making headliners. Right, so soulful. saying that Chick Fil A make niggas nigga Everybody pasta. Can taste the nigga. nigga nigga cheese pasta. That's what breaking you saying. News. <laughs> Local producer says Chick Fil A <laughs> making nigga cheese pasta. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Oh man, that is what mac and cheese is though. Nigga they cheese pasta. A, a, a no, it's not. Stop. <laughs> what they have? Yo, bake mac and cheese is nigga cheese pasta. What is it? What's up with y'all? What if Chick Fil A is hiring elderly black women only for mac and cheese? Okay, that's unlikely. Um, that would be crazy. And, long aprons and big asses with gray hair. You gotta have gray hair. You gotta be sixty-five plus. With and obese. I mean, you gotta have at least thirty-five Thanksgivings under your belt. Successful. Mm, successful, successful, successful Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Hell, that needs to be a fucking. Yeah, I watched this video where uh, Matt Pat was explaining how the average Chick Fil A owner makes more than the average Harvard graduate. Isn't that crazy? Oh wow! Because they pick. They, apparently, it's harder to, to become a Chick Fil A owner than it is to even get in Harvard. Who would have thought? Hmm. I know, right? I wonder. I wonder yeah, I wonder what that takes, man. What if we had a peer to peer Chick Fil A? <laughs> wow. And that. on Sundays, we it's like what if we, we recorded we, we out of the people like undercover on Sundays. No, what we recorded in the Chick Fil A on Sundays, nigga. <laughs> Think about that, bro. <laughs> bro, we we, we have Chick Fil A on Sundays. Mm-hmm. That'll be our perk. I mean, I guess yeah, technically, somebody yeah, have, somebody would have to make it, but I guess 
No, if, if you own a Chick Fil A, you have to work there too. Oh no. well, then yeah. never mind. Never yeah, mind. you have to work there as well. Never mind. We're not. We're not doing that. What do you mean work there? Like most other franchises, they get people by like they get rich people that could afford to buy it. Chick Fil A doesn't ask for money from people; they ask for commitment, <laughs> which works because it's the most earning franchise. Wait, so we gotta actually? We can't just supervise from a distance. No, you you are supervising, but you have to be there day to day. Day and day. Day to day. Day to, oh, so, like, so what, five, what like six, five, six days out of the week? Like, if it's open, you should be around. Wait, so oh, no, if crazy. it's three of us, we just take turns. Yeah, but if you make a few hundred thousand a year on the minimum off of your, like, that's all you really need, right? I'm not working in Chick-fil-A, bro. I'm For sorry. For a few hundred thousand, you're not working at Chick-fil-A? No, bro. Why? Man. Tell me, tell me why. Go ahead. Because I just don't. I have this thing. No, 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 say fast. I might say. I might say. Say, say, say. I have this thing about not working in fast food, and I can't go back on that. Shut word, the bro. fuck up. He's lying, everybody. This I is do. this is a fucking lie. He has his troll face on. I do. Yeah, bro, a few hundred thousand to own and supervise a Chick Fil A. I'm not working in fast food, bro. Who do you tell? Bro, you that? it's Chick Fil A. Huh? Who do you tell? You told your mom that. Wrote it down on paper. That's been a thing. I've just refused to ever work in fast you food. Work at so Walmart. That? That's not fast food. That's worse. No, it's not. Yeah, but the only thing worse they than pay Walmart, more. The only thing what worse than fuck? Walmart is like drunk fast pe- food. Drunk people at McDonald's on a campus. That's it. Like that's like tier. In terms fat, of working, fast food is worse. They pay you less. How much did you make at Walmart? I, when I got done, it was ten dollars. Okay. You know how long I would have to wait? How about, how about, you know how wait, long wait, I have to work? Wait, wait, wait. Bro, well, wait, nowadays wait. they pay a 10. Okay, okay, so, okay so when, when you started. Marcel. When you start, Almost $8. <laughs> okay. So how much do you think a Chick-fil-A worker makes? Seven twenty-five. Okay, so you mean to tell me the 75 cent difference yes, is going to hold you nigga, back? Yes. This guy's capping out his yes. fucking ass right now. Yeah, bro, yes. you would own a Chick-fil-A for a few hundred thousand a year? No, bro. For three to five hundred thousand a year? No, bro. Yo, I can't lie I to you. I just can't do it. This mac and cheese is what MLK fought for. Okay, this is nice. <laughs> This is so right. good. I don't know. I don't know. This may be the stop, best. Stop, 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 so stop, 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 stop. It's not the size that I want it. I wanted a bigger size. But this is. You can this, choose this what size? Yeah. yeah. You didn't know that? You didn't know that? The small, medium, large. Always yeah. go large. I, 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 want well, I, go, large. I always only go um, no, whatever the size is. Yeah. No, default. small. Yeah. No, that's that's offer large, but I needed a large of this. Like. Hey, hey, John. Come on, bro. Oh. I'm trying to be healthy. I got a question, though. Do you wait? What are you eating? You you you, uh, you put the mac and cheese on a spicy chicken sandwich. No, I, Willie Willie taught me that. I keep the mac haven't and gone back oh. since. For real? Yeah, Willie taught me that. Yeah. Huh. He taught you how to put mac and cheese on a spicy chicken sandwich. I never thought about doing it in my life. He's like, when we was we was we was buying um your car, your truck, your truck, and we were eating before we went to that Mercedes Benz thing, and he was like, bro, why don't you yo, just like? You never thought about? I never thought of, huh? Never thought about it. No, nah, but that combination is unique, though. Mac and cheese on the sandwich? Yeah, that sounds like a smacks. On a, on a spicy chicken sandwich and then put the little um, um, Chick fil A you sauce? You'd be on TikTok all day. Oh, he's out on not, TikTok? Not on. Bro, not that's been a thing. Not on, oh, wow, I didn't know. Not, not, on, not, not on that side of TikTok. Oh. I'm, I'm more so on like the, um, the funny, self help um, dad side. I'm getting old. You had no kids. I know. Which you know what I said? Which I said is crazy. On, the algorithm told me this is where you belong. I said on my video, I was like, whoever has the firstborn should give them those little black forces. The firstborn. I guess. No, you never suit your baby up in black forces. Huh? I think it's going to be low. Low's going to have the first one. But you I, actually, I actually think it's going to be you. Your time is. Your time is- I just think it's going to be you, bro. No cap. I no, dead ass think it's gonna it's be going, you. It has to be no, you. Your actually, time is it's probably out. gonna be John. It probably will be John, bro. Your time is running it's out. It's probably like, gonna be probably John. Gonna be John. That's fucked up, bro. Make sure you turn eighty. It's probably gonna be John, bro. Nah, I think you might actually because Lowe's probably not gonna have a baby for a bit. You feel me? For a bit. You scared of it? Well, you don't want to work at Chipotle. You definitely need a baby. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna have a child, but not in the next year or two. Are you gonna you, groom your child to be like an NBA player? No, what? Oh, okay, Why I don't know. Because you love basketball. I'm not going to groom to be a your child aspired to be a, a Nathan's Award winning hot dog eater. He saw a YouTube video and it changed his life. He just started just throwing down five to six hot Throating dogs. Throwing glizzies. That's a crazy. At night, he'll You'd support down. him, right? If, he, if he's really great at it, of course. You'd support him. Yeah. You'd support him. You'll get if a shirt. If he's great at it. A shirt? That's what it comes That's what that what comes with? My son is the real glizzy gladiator. <laughs> oh my with God. his number on the back. Having a number is a crazy. jersey for for food eating is be crazy. number one dad. <laughs> I was. I mean, if he if he was really great at it, then he was going to comps and winning, mm-hmm. beating the competition. Some dads go to academy sports. You go to Kroger. 
Would, would you support your son if he went to school for communications? I mean, what is he? What he's trying to get a job in? Uh, it depends on what he as what a journalist. I mean, if that's how you feel, I mean, I, I would definitely walk him down the path of like, you know, there's another way to kind of kind of break break into that career. Mm. You know, your pops did that. So you to probably, argue, <laughs> you probably ask me. Would you spank him if he tried to argue that poor? I'm poor, whipping my kids. Poor is better I'm than whipping the shot. Allegedly, kids. he's joking. I'm whipping CPS. the fuck out of my CPS. kids. Like, what if he tried have... to argue with you that poor? Oh, Genghis I'm whipping him. I'm whipping him. He's arguing with me. I'm whipping him. Whooping you know that's not that's not even effective. You know that, right? Says who? Says the studies, my brother. Oh, I'm I'm on the other side. Yeah, bro. Of that. When when I'm you on was the a, other side of when that. you was a bopper, do you remember what you hated the most? What you hate the most? Getting weapons. <laughs> what you hate the most? Restrictions. Exactly. Can't go outside. Can't play video games. And nowadays, can't be on your phone. The whippings came so, with restrictions. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm going to say my mom did both. It was I a would, two for one. I would exaggerate the pain I was feeling. I'd be screaming to the top of my lungs just so she feels like, all right, that was enough. I don't have to ground him for a week or take away his controllers nah, for three days. my mom days. wasn't like that. With the cherry on top. You yeah, yeah. I'm about to say, we got both. I got yeah, both. No, if you scream loud, you have to really portray pain, bro, in your eyes. That's what sh- that's short of the duration. No, you still getting beat. You still getting beat. Not yeah. only you still getting beat, and then it's like, give me a PlayStation now. How, how long? How long do you wait before you ask for your controller back? Yeah. I would like. I, I kind of go in there the next day. I try to talk. The next day. The next day is bold. Now no, that's like you can crazy. Go, go what to my mom? To my mom. Next, next, I, to my I, dad. I would have been to my dad. My mom. I go in there and start to have conversation. Like, hey mom, you need anything? <laughs> uh, I went outside and How I took the backyard and. You know, I see the backyard. I didn't, I didn't do random stuff. I saw the two dishes in the sink. I, I, just, I took the liberty of cleaning them. I want to make sure you have a good day. How do you I'll be sweep a backyard? If you had, I, I'll be afraid if I ask the next day that she'll be like, you know what? Now that you're asking me this early, I'm adding another week on to it. Like, I don't think she Damn, be- bro. I asked like a few hours later. Sometimes no, yeah, no, sometimes, no, no. You have to, no. You have to be Absolutely. nice to mom. You guys, it this it nigga it said a few you did. hours it later. What you did? Yeah. You did something that's bad. Let's say, really bad. let's say you got caught out with like. Oh no, that never flew with my mom. A few what? hours later, no, but no, you have to ask crazy. nicely. Could I have it back? <laughs> that's what? nice. You have to like throw it out. Like you, no demand, and not even a question. Like I kind of want him back, mom. Yo, and, yo, then, yo, and then, and then, like an like hour 18? later, an hour later, you, you bring it back up. Like, can I, mom? Can I please? Yeah, we grew up in different households. That's yeah. all. And then you just, you just, <laughs> ease just into it. No, I just did, I we just, did just grew up in different households. Feel bad? Like I just, just random stuff. I vacuumed the stairs. Oh, uh, my mom would know that's cap if I did time. that. I just though. let her know I have yeah. this time. You did that? No. Yeah. Or you tell her. I tell her my friends. But that's bad though because now you're now you've basically communicated to your mom that every time she punishes you, you actually can be useful on the house. No. So she's gonna punish you for no, fun. I don't do it any other time. But I just do it, or I just say, yeah. Um, I was gonna go outside, but my friends are inside playing the new Halo. But it's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and clean some more if you need. Kind of guilt your mom? No. Yeah, I'm gonna say that wouldn't I work. Just, I, I just do that to let her know that I know I'm in trouble, but I'm not sad about it. I would, I, I would. She I, knows you're sad, bro. Yeah, she yeah, but it's, she's it's not dumb. She I would, I would, well, I would wait maybe like for a couple of days, and but but then try to do something of significance to be like, I just did this, and now can I have my game back, but not fucking do the dishes. Like that's not that's not enough. Damn, yeah, doing, doing the dishes is not enough. How often you get your shit snatched though? Um, after I was like 15, I wasn't like making, I wasn't that much trouble. Anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. After like 15. I wasn't yeah. After trouble. I was 17, I, I, for oh, the first man. time ever, I mean, that's, like, basically, that's, what it kicked up. that's basically it though. I mean, 17, 18, you're done. I'm, I'm, no, <laughs> you it, said it, like, you nah, said but that's like, not, that's not how Ethiopian households work. Like you still like this, like she can still beat your ass if she wants to. No, no. I mean, but you're out the house cause you went to, you went to, oh, yeah, I went to uni. I'm saying you made at 17. <laughs> I was like, I was Officially running away from punishments. Like, when you try and beat me, I'll just dodge around the kitchen counter. Nah, at 15, I was like, I just don't want to get, I don't want to get whipped no more. So I'm good. Oh, you had IRL beatings? Yeah. Huh? What? Wait, you had virtual you had ones? Virtual? <laughs> no, no, I mean, like, you said she would chase you around the kitchen. I'll be in a room and I had to sit there and get in position. Oh, no, no, no. no my, I, oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, it wasn't no chasing. My, my dad, my dodging. dad would do that. She would definitely say, stop moving. But the at 17, at 17, you could still juke. <laughs> No, nope. it don't juke it, don't whip it in the it was, no, it, it, was, it was go ahead, go in that room. I'll be in there in a second. I'll be there. <laughs> that's what that was. You had time to think about it. Yeah, that's what it was. It wasn't no, I, it wasn't no sporadic. She wasn't gonna chase nobody. He was just go in that room. I'll be in there in a second. Was, uh, I'll be in there when I feel coming. like it. No, nah, I was ducking and dodging until she got like genuinely furious, and then it's like, okay, now you can't move. But uh, that was that was a good old days, man. Mm, good I'm old so day. glad it's over. 
I wish I would try to juke my dad. <laughs> you can't get me, dad. You taught me that, huh? <laughs> no, you don't do that with your dad. You do that with your mom. But if you do that with your dad, he both might kill of them you. are whipping me harder. My mom e- tried to whip me equal harder than my dad. No, Jim said harder. Like you just try to whip harder. Uh, no, nah, because if you if I moved, my mom would just sit there and just whip me in syllables for the rest of the time. I think my dad <laughs> understood his strength. What did I tell you? <laughs> Bro, that shit is crazy, nah. <laughs> Whip it. That damn running. That's whipping, that's whipping the syllables is crazy. <laughs> and me, all so you're gonna do that to your kids? Absolutely, I'm whipping the fuck now, out. Of my now kids. break that down to me. All this, all this shit that you. No, break it down. Don't look at me like I'm weird. I'm like, what do you mean break down? Whipping my children? Yes, I'm gonna whip, whip them. them. So you think it worked on you? Absolutely, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, it worked on me. You may not need to give your kids a black forces the way you're gonna beat them. You, you're gonna groom them up to be a bad. Society. They're gonna go to school. Now you might as well give them black forces, man. They're gonna start running away when I bit with them. Alright, that was too much. That was too much. You know, like a scared big <laughs> child that gets beats every day that has only black forces. Can you imagine a little low, like a little bopper low, like waddling around? You look just like him. I don't but I What if you had a girl that looked just like you in the face? That'd be crazy. I feel bad for her. That's crazy. Yeah, little girl. <laughs> I feel like bad for her too. She like a man in the face. That's like, crazy. Just like you. That's you know, like, she look like you, but no facial hair. Just, just you. I still like a man in the face. Wait, have you have you seen that filter where it takes off your facial hair? No. Oh my god. How would I see it? That's just right. I think it was on TikTok. TikTok. Oh, okay, bro. That's the scariest shit in the world, bro. How'd you look? I look like I'm I'm 18. <laughs> oh wow. I it just looks like yo. It's mad weird. John, you got facial hair. A little bit. Oh yeah, that's why you cleaned it up the other time not too long ago. I was like, look at it this. Grew, it grew back. Yeah, that did, that did grow back quick. I don't know why I still live by this fear that my mustache don't grow back if I cut it off. So I just leave it there. He's the same hair that's been on my face for fifteen Me years too, at man. this point. I mean, it's not a fear. I'm just. We well, haven't cut them hair in fifteen years. Oh yeah, these hairs right here. They yeah. just been they've been trimmed up. That's it. Damn. Yeah, man. Let's just that, keep it there. That hair above your lip almost older than my brother. Probably so. That's one way to look at it. It is one way to look at it. And I don't know why. I just be like, bro, don't cut it off. Don't cut it off, bro. I don't know why. Just in case it don't grow back, bro. Just cut. We keep do that a peer to peer uncut prank. Oh, I'm, joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I would never cut say, Don't you, <laughs> nigga, you bringing oh, no. a razor near my lips. <laughs> We're fighting. <laughs> You're not about to chop off my mustache. That'd be crazy if we just chopped off one side of the mustache, though. No, don't do that. Bro, what if that was a punishment, dog? No. Loser has to cut off the left side of their mustache? Mustache, no. Oh, man, that'd be amazing, dog. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Well, so what happened? What, what's going on with the YouTube thing? You said that people getting, I getting saw. Yeah, I saw a whole bunch yeah. of people catching community uh, guideline strikes for the content they uploaded while they was out of Miami. Um, That's tough, man. I mean, I was watching some wild videos, but I saw some, like, ass-grabbing. Yeah, uh, slapper grab, slap eat or grab. beat. What? Swallow or spit? It's getting crazy out there. Uh, swallow and spit. I, I've, I've, I've heard eater that Eat or beat? Eat, eat or beat, beat is crazy. Eat so you talking about eat her out or beat her? Yeah. Beat, her, beat the booties, bo- beat the yeah. boonies down? Eat the booties down. Mm. Eat her to beat it. You know what I'm saying? Spit or swallow is crazy. Who the fuck would Who say eat it? Who eat though? I just thought about that. <laughs> why, would you, why would you just eat? I think that's a, that question is a setup. So you'd be like, all right, so, so then what? Yeah. So then what? What are we doing? It's getting crazy out there, man. Yeah. Who said I'll just eat it? Huh? Who says that? I watch the video. <laughs> nah, you gotta if, a nigga, if a nigga is huge, nigga, you ain't seen like I went to Miami. That was my 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 video title. Eat or beat. You gotta watch that shit. Nigga, I'm not, bro. If a nigga just is solely eating it, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I mean, it is what it is. It's each each person has their own <laughs> cup of tea. What? Like you like to get choked and slapped. But you're already there. Your nipples licked and you might as well just you might as just be. You, you like might to get as your fuck. nipples teased and you your like, balls like, choked. Like, but like then imagine if we just stop there. You like temperature like control I don't do nothing nipples? else. Look, That's weird. You like temperature control in your nipples, like hot or cold. What? Like temperature what? control. You know how you put like like, hot like or what? Cold? You do that? I'm asking you. You like the double no? Nipples. You said you you said this. So you know how you you could temperature control a nipple. I'm asking him. Does he like that? How would you but know it exists? When did you? Yeah, when you have you done that? Have you ever done well, it? I'm asking you. No, you the nipple expert. I've never heard it before. <laughs> yeah, the nipple expert. I've never heard it before, but you make it seem like it's something that you've done it before. No, I'm asking. No, I don't like my nipples play with. No, just in general, you you do temperature control with anything sexually? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't mind trying it though. Like what? Like 
Probably ice A cube. girl sucking your dick with ice in her mouth? Probably. Ice cubes probably going bad. I don't know about heat, but it might be fine. Heat would be better, no? What you want you want cold on your penis? But cold stimulates. It shocks the body. But your dick is no. Real. No, it stimulates <laughs> your nervous system. What the fuck is it will stimulate your dick in the other direction. <laughs> It'll, it'll make it go. It'll make it go limp. Yes, it'll shrink it. I haven't tried oh. extreme cold on my dick while it was hard, but I feel like it wouldn't work though. But you tried cold on but your dick. I said that cold. You said extreme cold. You mean like I've done cold though. So I, I like, mean, sometimes my my dick will be cold outside. Like if it's it's cold I outside. Mean, if you're in the middle, if you're in the middle, and uh, your dick shrinks. I know, but what? So if it's extreme cold, but I bet it, this though. shit. But if you're in the middle of partaking in sex, it probably makes it hard. Yeah, are you trying to? I just I don't I don't that didn't sound appealing to me at all. Getting your dick sucked with ice cubes in her mouth. You don't think an ice cube while she's sucking it in the middle of sex? Hey, stop! <laughs> what are you doing? Are you trying to flirt with him? <laughs> hey, what are no. you doing right now? Okay, stop! I'm just, I'm just trying to find out what would that heat or cold be better like when get ahead doing. Bro, you looking me sex. way too much Boy, in my you eyes right now. Eyes and yeah, nigga, sex. what's going on, nigga? What's up with you, bro? Yeah, no, I, I actually, that might feel heat. good. Actually, now that I think about it, I would like a small heat. ice cube. Might be. In a I'll, warm mouth? What does that do? Or a mouthful of Zaxby ice. A, little <laughs> <laughs> a mouthful of Zaxby ice is crazy. I don't need anything Zaxby's related near my dick. <laughs> I don't need it. You know little ice cubes you get? I know you're talking about. Uh, big cubes, I don't know. I would assume something warm to try to warm up her mouth would be better. Her mouth would be already warm. It's already warm, though. I know, but I'm saying, but just like. Warmer? Warmer. Warmer. You try that? Why are you smiling like no, that? I'm, just, I'm assuming that was. Like <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm assuming. I'm assuming that'd be better than cold. Cold doesn't sound appealing to me at all. Like not even in the slightest. It just mm. doesn't. It just doesn't. Dog. It just doesn't. But I saw for them, man. You yeah. went to Miami, flew down, got some killer content, uploaded it, and they were like, "No, no, 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 nigga." It's over now, ain't it? No. Spring break's not over? Well, this was the first week, I think. But I think as it goes on. There's multiple weeks of spring break? Yeah. Because this is, this is the best no, week, in my opinion. Those are dropouts. The guys, the guys in the second week don't have school. No. The other school have different different spring break days. Oh, that's true. So they'll come Oh, down. yeah, because of COVID. So there's content week. creators who just stay down there for like two, three weeks? Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, those are nasty back. niggas. Was, those people I talked to that was there for weeks before. Those are nasty Like niggas. leading up to it. Those are nasty niggas, dog. You know what I'm saying? Day with a day. Those are nasty niggas, dog. I get Miami's appeal. Miami's a cool place. You can really walk around Miami during spring break with a camera and just be like, ah, I'm a YouTuber. And, yeah. and you can probably fuck. You can lie. Yeah, 100%. I bet you can hell a nigga just yeah. buy a camera from Miami. Yeah. But when every. Some trunks, a camera, lotion. Sim- <laughs> Don't need no SD card. I ain't filming shit. Batteries, <laughs> a, a nice lens, and a five YouTube name. Oh, I mean, in the cameraman, that's what you need. Yeah, they'd be like, Who, what's your name? What's your name? Ah, uh, they call me Chemistry ATL. <laughs> oh, wow, you're from Atlanta? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's crazy. Where's that's your YouTube? crazy. What's your YouTube channel? What do you make? What do you do? Yeah, you know. And you just be gassing it. No, nah, that is that is nasty. And niggas probably, niggas probably do do that. They go down there just with a camera acting like they're doing something. Mm-hmm. Just so they can fuck. I never thought about that. They just probably do that. Deadass. Just so they can fuck. Now there was a lot of YouTubers there too, bro. I wonder. Mm, no. You think you think you'd be competing with them though? Like you trying to fuck and King Sid swoops down with an actual YouTube channel and he just gets your. <laughs> I mean, a girl gonna fuck what she want to fuck. It's yeah. Just make it easier. Yeah. She'll pick between. But you don't. You don't have an actual want. YouTube channel. That's what I'm saying. It you doesn't just, matter. You just made one up. Doesn't just, matter. You just, doesn't matter. Mm. What well, if I could do that? <laughs> Buy a wig. Change my whole thing. Make a fake account. You could if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. as a, see if it works. Okay, you just cut your hair. And just do that. No, no. Bob have you ever, have you ever thought about that? I do. I wonder what you I look like with waves. Yeah, I would, yeah. I, would, I wonder what John would look like with his haircut, man. No. Why not? I'll lose thirty seven percent of my bitches easily. You don't think you would gain none back? Not those. Why? The, I don't know. I, my hair is funny. Oh, me too, man. Yeah, so think about you cut all your hair, how you look. But we know what his Crazy. forehead looks like. Yeah. I don't know what. Yeah, but think about he cut it all off, just like a. a oh, I'm not talking thing. about all off. What I cut it down to? Oh, you said a shadow fade. Yeah, 
Like he say why do why do you why do you think you I, I is there like a, a picture of you with a shadow fade? Uh back in high school my barber messed up well it wasn't even my barber Kobe. Was somebody knew. That had a hit too. And he about to lie. It hit the light, but it was a line drive to the garbage can. Go ahead, lie it was to a them. Line drive to the Okay. It was. It hit the fucking light. It did what it did, man. Yeah, I would I would I wouldn't cut it. I wouldn't cut it. I don't know what I do. I had a nightmare that I did. And I, you ever had a dream that felt like multiple days? Yeah, I, yeah, I, had, yeah. I had a dream that felt like years, brother. I'm gonna be oh, honest I with dream. you. I have not remembered a dream of mine in months. You know what that means, right? What does that mean? <laughs> I was gonna make something up. I was gonna say something oh, crazy. Go oh my god! Like you're gonna die soon. I was ready. I was ready. I was about to go right along with it. Too. I was about to <laughs> He's like, I heard that before. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. No, no cap. I never remember my dreams. But you have bad memory, though. No, like I had a crazy what the dream fuck? the other day. You do. Like even I had for a dream today, I had a, and I doing a nap. It was scary. It was like three days. I was panicking. Like I you was had like, a three day dream. Yes. With the with the midday nap. Yes. No, that's a crazy name. That's not. Most of your dreams last like 10 minutes in real life time. It just feels like forever when oh, you're in your dream. Crazy. But three days? Yeah. That's crazy, dog. Not really. Keep going, John. What'd you dream about? It was like, I was in a, it felt like a stranger, stranger things. So hear me out. It was dark. It was me. Uh, me? It was somebody else. Fuck. Um, Who's somebody else? Just I say think it. Lee was there. How? Where text was there? How? Who is somebody else? He doesn't know, bitch. It's a dream. He forgot. No, he remember. He looking at me right in my face. Who? Who is somebody else? He doesn't know, bro. He know. He knows exactly who it was. It was somebody else. <laughs> we was there, and we came down, and we fell from the sky. Okay. Okay. Off a bus. We get up. I look around. It is like mutants, like monsters and shit. Coming down from the sky too, like for like a free for all, like an apocalypse style. So me and somebody else were like we landed away from Waleed and Vortex. Mm. So of course him and somebody else was together. Yeah, so we ran away from it. It was weird. <laughs> Let me finish. Yeah, it was so, weird. Yeah, so we running right. So Waleed tell me keep running, keep running, go away, get help, get help. So we're running, we're running, and like I'm thinking like. This would make me realize I wouldn't survive an apocalypse with anything other than a zombie. Cause it was like it was like this dog, and it was like a mutant dog. And I was running, and it and it almost bit the other person I was with. So I picked up a stick, I hit it. Oh, so you were saving somebody else? No, no, no. You I hit a bad. dog? Yeah, no. It was like a mutant dog. Okay. But I thought it was a regular dog. It looked like a a, a mutt, but not a big mutt. But you saved somebody else though. No, it about to get bad. I distracted it. I fucked myself up. I should have kept running. But now oh, I know now. Oh, you should have just left so, so somebody it was else. About to, it was about to get that person, right? So I hit it with the, with the plank. Yeah. Like two by four or something. Boom. Breaks against his back. Dog turned around. Look at me. Two faces. Big jaws. Bites me right on my calf. Mm-hmm. Now, what, what did somebody else do? They started running. So they just left you. Uh, but <laughs> I didn't expect crazy. Them, I didn't expect them to save me. If you would think them to save so they kept running. I get the dog off. Me. What? A piece of my calf is missing. So I'm Damn. running with my calf missing. Yeah. And like I somehow feel the pain in my dream. Like it feels so real. I'm like, this this dog just bit me. Like I thought it was gonna be like the movies. I hit it, it fall down. Yeah. I fucking broke on it and it bit me. I'm like, damn. Like, that, that's that's a learning lesson. That that that, that means your dream is teaching you something, bro. Mm. It yeah. means not to fuck with somebody else, bro. Cause they don't fuck with you. Nah, don't bother nothing that's not bothering you. You mind don't think business. dreams have a purpose? They do. So it, it always tells me to mind my business. That's why I always mind my business. Like, like I I guess. Guess. <laughs> that's what you came out of. I guess like, every it dream be, it is be reminding a, you to mind your business. It could crazy. be a nigga beside me get his ass whooped, and I could be there and help him, but I wouldn't. I'll just eat my food and mom. I won't even put my camera out. I will mind my business. Those are crazy dreams. Yeah. I had a dream about a zombie apocalypse one time too. It was very depressing. Mm. Like I, I, you know, when you're a bopper and you like to dream hypotheticals because they're exciting. Yeah. Hey, so I was, I was telling my friends like, "Yo, man, if it was actually a zombie apocalypse, like, hi, man, I'd make it the longest." And everyone's like, "No, I'd make it the longest." Man, I went to sleep. First of all, this dream happened over the course of years, and I vividly remembered everybody I care about slowly dying. But Damn. they didn't They didn't die in gruesome ways. They would go out to grab food. Like, we'd go on runs one at a time. I don't know. Like This dream felt like forever. We would go on runs, and then we'd make it back. They would go on runs, and they just would never come back. 
ever. Yeah. And we would go out looking for them. They're done. Like it's done. And it's zombies? like, yeah, it was zombies. You had to kill them. Correct. And it got so depressing by year three. I, I was like, bro, I don't even want to be alive. And then in that moment, I thought, let me just wake up. So I woke up. Did you wake up and then tell everybody else around you, like, I survived the longest? Yeah, you guys all died. You guys died. fucking suck. I knew it. You don't know how to make fire. My dream Dumb confirmed ass. it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that was telling you you should have died first. But it didn't that's that's what you got out of that? Yeah. What did you John, yo, you, yo, your takeaways from dreams are crazy. You made it the longest. <laughs> that's, that's, a crazy, <laughs> that's a crazy takeaway. <laughs> Maybe you should have died first. I thought if you got one because you mm-hmm. made it seem like you last alone with depression, all your family. Yeah, because it was like, so what's the point of surviving if there's no goal? You just wake up and exactly. you scrounge for food every day. Take every, me out. But you know what's funny? Hope. If there's no hope, then what am I... What am I living for? Yeah, that's what I thought too. But you're a human now. Before humans had dreams and goals, they their only goal was survival, right? And that's really all animals. All animals just survive. Like so a, a cat's. It was like the only time to save you, you will miss it. You will be stuck in the United States. The 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 last dispatch crews to take the survivors to like Russia or something. The last hope. You missed it. So all you know is you just got to scavenge for the rest of your life. Yeah, I'd survive. It is, it is possibly no help. It's a ten percent chance that it may come back and look for y'all. No, I'd still just, survive. But how did you get out of that? You just need to die first. That's so crazy. It, it, it sounded. It sounded sad. The takeaway Everybody. really is like a, the people around you are what make life worth living. But I guess me dying first is another way to look at it. I mean, I want to say first round. You go high second round. Mm. Also, um, <laughs> Jesus. Also, um, I haven't had dreams like that in a while. My dreams, last dream I remember was just I had a dog and I forgot to feed him, and I woke up and like told myself like, man, if I get a dog, I can't, I can't forget to feed him, bro. That's the lesson. That was my lesson. I gained. What out lesson of that. would you have learned from that, John? I thought you were gonna say you ate the dog food. No. Dog <laughs> or you was you was eating so much you forgot to feed the dog. No, I was like literally just like constantly working. And then the dog, the dog was like, like he was like, I was thinking, yeah, he was doing that. And I was like, man, what's wrong with you, man? And then I went downstairs and I looked in his bowl and I was like, damn, I forgot to feed you, dog, again. And I just turned around and he was dead. And I was like, fuck. I would think a nigga your size you would have killed him. Something. I did. He, he, I'm not gonna lie. I know somebody. I know somebody that didn't feed their dog to die. Who recently, recently purchased a hamster. And um. then left it alone for a week, and it died. <laughs> <laughs> it was so sad. Was we know, funny. yeah. Who the fuck bought a hamster? The whole is it Davis? The, his whole crib smelled like dead yeah. hamster. So it's not Davis. No, but it it's somebody we know. It was. It says the most. It was literally a baby hamster. It was maybe this like this big. Sneeko. Bro, no, it was so adorable, man. Bruce. Wait, so you seen it when it was living? Yes, I saw you it came alive. Back and it was dead. Oh, correct. Phantom. No, Bruce. No, you're not gonna guess it. But we know him, though. <sighs> man, it was very sad, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Why animals are saying, bro. So you forgot to feed your dog in a dream and it died. Yeah, he just died. What'd you do with the the carcass? I just took him out back. Mm. I just like a proper burial. No, I just threw him in this like drainage and just went back inside. You flushed him out in the dog, toilet, man. Yeah, dog, no, 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 like like the, like the like um. Outside in, in our backyard is like, it's like you can just see where like it kind of just the land kind of just kind of caves in a little bit. So and you threw a drain into a ditch. And I just threw him in there, and I went inside. You know, I was like, I just try again next time. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this actually like I feel like most people get pets nowadays because they're lonely. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. And they don't even like they're not even afraid to admit it. They're just like I'm alone, so. I just want this pet now. Mm, I thought about getting a dog though, just for the shits and giggles of it. No, it would be like ah, I got a dog. No, don't do it. But then I thought to myself like, this nigga's probably gonna be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta remember to like keep up with this nigga. Yeah, like I you have to walk to now. Me. You don't do that, All right? I'm not gonna get like a little ho- a chill house dog. Niggas be at the house just chilling with me. That is the you still have to take a house dog outside. I, oh, I'll take him outside every now and then, but like not like one of them active ass dogs. Where nigga just be scratching at the fucking front door, like, come on, let's go outside. And I'm like, nah, nah. You might that. need that though. That'd be good for you. Nah, good. Yeah. I'm good. You want a dog that just don't do much. 
Just eat. And just chill, bro. Do you want an animal to exist in your house just to chill? Just to chill, my nigga. So you want to you be like me? A obese, abandoned. No, he's like a like dog? a like a mutt. Like a rescue dog that's just scared of everything. So no, he's moves? just he's just a mutt. Just a mutt. He just chills. That's your goal. That's like your vision. Either so that, you just or, get a cat then, because that's what cats do. Nah, I can't they just chill. Cat. Either that, or there's this dog that looks like um almost like a fox. Like he has like. Nice red, like a red, red coat of fur on a white underbelly. Nigga looked hard. And I was like, oh, that nigga's dope. If I had a dog, it'd be like him. But then I figured out like the, the like the keep up of that. I'm like, no, nah, I can't do that. Mm. I'll be like depriving him of life. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Right. I'll feel bad. I wouldn't. That's like me buying a hamster and not feeding him. Who would do that? <laughs> who would do that? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, who would do that? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. But it's why we know, though. Yeah. Damn, Kai. It's not Kai. Not Kai? No. I'm going to keep... Don't say a bunch of names. Yeah, I'm going to just keep just chipping away at these list of names. People that we know. Damn, that's fucked up, ZT. <laughs> <laughs> that's a ZT thing to do. Well. Lucky is, yeah. Because it was him. I'm trying, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, he thought he got it. He's like, yeah. That is a ZT thing to do, though, no cap. Yeah. Um, what well, I was about to say... Oh, you know, um, Sean Marion, he was in uh, Twitter Spaces last night. Sean Marion? Yeah. The guy that shoots out his chest. You know what's so crazy? He told people who make comments like that to suck his dick. Okay. He can wow. suck my dick. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> no hands? Fuck him, too. No hands? I was, it, was a, it was a hypothetical. I don't need him to suck my dick. Yeah, he told people like you to suck his dick. He shoots out his chest, though. He was he was drunk. He went to Twitter Spaces drunk. He said, I'm getting sick and tired of people criticizing my, my shooting my shooting form. <laughs> and then shoot better. And then it and then it made news on, on the New York Post and TMZ and like the recording is all like all over NBA Twitter. Were you in the, and I was in the space. <laughs> and then I, I made another space. I was like, bro, I gotta stop letting these niggas. Someone asked him like why he does that though? No, he just he was drunk. He just randomly started to rant. Mm. And I was like, bro, first it was like I don't get enough credit. For changing the NBA I was like bro What the fuck is going on You changed the NBA Then he went from I don't get no credit For changing the NBA Then he went from like Yeah like Cause role players Really determine Who wins the championships I was like Whoa what the fuck Is going on He's like <laughs> like People don't get Enough credit For what they did man And like Everybody just say like they look at the Suns now. And they don't just be like, "Yo, back in the day, what Nash and Stoudemire," but they acting like I wasn't that motherfucking guy. And I was like, "Whoa, what's going on?" And then he went pivot from that to, and anytime they do talk about me, it's just my shooting form. So all them people who critical my shooting form, they can suck my dick. John, I can literally hear you text from here. Oh, you care? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then that broke news, and I don't think he's ever going to join the tournament space again. <laughs> I love catching people drunk sometimes. He was pissy drunk too. Yeah, I can I tell. Can tell. I can tell. Yeah, I, I heard that. Pissy drunk. What was the drunkest you ever got, John? Uh, that was a while, a while back. That's the drunkest I ever been. A long time ago. I normally be getting tipsy. I don't get too drunk. I'm very observant. I'm self aware. Of my surroundings. So I don't get too drunk. But I've been drunk one time at this one girl party. You was drunk over somebody else's house? Yeah, this was my first time. That's not like the worst time. time but like, she was, they, they were like, they were, from, they were like college kids, you know, nigga, like me dropped out. So I never really got that college <laughs> drink, drinking experience. So they used to drink all the time. So I was a newbie. It was Bacardi Gold. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> that much, I was trying, I was so drunk. I was hiding from the liquor. I was in the closet. I was taking multiple bathroom breaks. I was running from the shots. All caught me. They put up, they added them all up. John, you missed four shots. Just take two doubles. Let's go, John. Let's go, John. Let's go, John. Whoa. And then all the girls like, come on. let's go, John. Let's go, John. I'm like, me? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Took that thick, boy. I thought I got hit with John Wick. That motherfucker had me. I was in Waffle House. I ordered food. Ate it. Don't remember ordering it. I just remember pissing over there in the street walker alley where all the, shoots, where all the uh, night walkers be. Why are you, are you not afraid of like something going to happen like when you get drunk, though? That that was the that was the wake up. That was the first time I was really happened. drunk. I never been that drunk before. Mm. I always wonder why people just go out and just drink like that. Like you like ever drank after friend? that one day you drank here? Nope, that was the last time I drank. Hmm. And that day was like, yep, never again. But I think <laughs> never it was that Bacardi. It's some alcohol I drink. I drink a lot of, and not to be straight. But 
You know, me and Tierra, me and Tierra almost downed an entire bottle um, bottle of Ciroc that that night. How much you here? Think that's impressive. Mm-hmm. That was, yeah. my, that was my first to me. <laughs> that <laughs> that's like, yeah, my bad. Oh, I'm sorry. You were like, you were like, so you were like wait, listen, that, that's my said, that's my first time ever drinking. You said you and somebody else though. Me and Tara almost down a bottle. I don't know if that's impressive. I don't know, but for me, Not, but all the you the way you said it, you paused and had like a dramatic effect. Me and for, for, for my for my first time for my first time ever <laughs> drinking. It's crazy, bro. Apparently, man. apparently, alcohol. What does that mean? But you're a grown man with a and you're large, big bait. Yeah, there you yeah. go. You're but large. what is that? But I, I, I mean, versus I don't take know what a that large means. Amount of alcohol to get you feeling that way. No, but I was no, I was I was tipsy and drunk. No, I was. You were tipsy. Yep. You had drunk sex. No, we just passed out. Passed out. <laughs> I did. I wow, passed missed out. opportunity, man. Damn. I guess. I don't know. I, just, I probably would feel like it'd be a cool experience. Huh? Oh, wow. You never had drunk sex? No. That was my first time ever getting drunk. So all your sex. That's my first time ever drinking. <laughs> oh my god! You just have plain end of day sex. <laughs> no. <Nah. get> <laughs> also, having having drunk sex doesn't even sound like it's entertaining, though. No cap. No, it do. It do. It, unleashes it is. The beast. It unleashes the beast. Yeah, and, and you who? Are her. You or her? It depends. Sometimes, like sometimes, I be I be horny on soberly, but then when I get drunk and horny, it's different. That's tough. <laughs> nah. yeah. Oh, you have pot sex. Have I have, sex. I have, I have sober. Everyone's consenting sex. That's what I have. I knew you were gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, it's not no taking advantage or nothing like that. Ah, you are on the same page. Of course, of course, John. Of course, that's a good spinoff to your boring sex. Nah, that's nah, that's, of course. Hey, man, boring is legal. Hey, man, it is what it is, yeah. man. You go, you My go boring legal that. sex. You're absolutely <laughs> right. Because I ain't never have. They can be concerned if it's if it's if it's legal or not. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah no, nah, I can't. There, I can't do that. NBA takes. Slowly take your pants off. <laughs> oh my god! Throw them, <laughs> throw them bed sheets to the wall. <laughs> Hope you don't knock down a couple of lamps or a TV or something. Oh fuck! But your pants big enough to knock uh, down a thirty-seven inch. Bro, the <laughs> way bro that those. that day that Willie um said I I can hear you having sex from upstairs was the craziest shit in the world, bro. Yeah, it's pretty disturbing, bro. One is very disturbing. What a mass. What a mass. Because you have to visualize you fucking. That's the problem. You don't have to. Actually. No, you have to because every time you hear a thump, 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 like now I'm in rhythm yeah. with you. <laughs> so therefore, I just heard, I just heard like, like, like yelps. Like, you heard yelps? Yelp. I didn't hear you. I just heard her through the uh, through the thing. It was very awkward. What through you, the vents. Through the vents. What did yeah. it sound like? And there's no uh, way you heard you. That wasn't. Like, but that wasn't. Like that wasn't. The screen. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Remember Halo Lotus Green? <laughs> oh my god. John is hilarious. John, John, John is hilarious because there's no vents downstairs. So it is what it is. It is one right there. There is no vents. There's literally no vents downstairs. It's a vent right there above that room. <clears throat> so the sound came up. It sounded like there's it no up. AC downstairs, bro. There's none. We heard you through the floor. We just thought it was a vent because it's a vent right okay, there. Okay, the floor. Okay. Now, the floor is pretty thin. No cap. Yeah. I'm actually yeah. very surprised the amount of people that Willis had at his house that the floor just didn't cave in upstairs. That one time he had like 30 people here. I was like, all right. this is this Nobody is. ever goes in that room no more after. Yeah, yeah. Luck, luckily, yeah. Yeah. Luckily. What day? Huh? What day? The, the day Halo Reach dropped. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, Caleb, is no way Caleb you, is in a dungeon now. Yeah, there's yeah. no way you were fucking and you didn't know that the whole house could hear you. There's just no way. No, I did not. Given the noises, that come on, bro. You were sober, bro. You First of all, I didn't know y'all were right. I didn't know anybody was right us above know. us. He wanted us to know. Yeah, Loki. I think I was wanted like, y'all to know. Like, no, like, that's he crazy. Like, he like hit the guy with no work in. Scream, scream, scream. No, that's crazy. The they can't hear you. Go louder. Don't worry, they can't hear you. So yeah, y'all just stood up like right above me. me. Come I, on, make Lee, it count. I didn't know because I was in my room until Lee told me, and then I heard it, and I was like, "Ugh." Mm. I went back in my room. I said, "We roommates, though. I mean, this we have great man. rhythm, though." Thanks, man. Yeah, I don't know how to take that, but I guess thanks. no. I mean, it's a compliment. But we roommates, man. You know, yeah. 
Will he, will he heard you had sex? No, he hasn't. He has not. Yes, he has. Guarantee he hasn't. How much you know about? 50,000 million. <laughs> There's no way. You might have heard other things going on. No, like, no, no, no. It might be you. I think it might be you. No. No, no, no. <laughs> it might have been you. No, 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 no. So you've never had sex and he didn't hear you? No, because... Don't look at me. I don't I'm, know. That's my belief. <laughs> look at me. No, because you, you know, I keep it a, a reasonable sound. You feel me? I play music or TV if I'm doing something. Amen. Yo, have you have you ever heard um, Dean have sex? Like, like. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> what do you say? Yo, you he did. You said you said and said you you play music. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, but. It, uh, you didn't play mu- There was nothing in here To play music Running upstairs There's nothing here To play music yeah. There's nothing in here To play music it's a chance, it's There was nothing in here <laughs> Let me get a camera Give me a mic <laughs> uh, Give me a mic Did you Did you Did you <laughs> He's about to mic. Why are you so excited The, an- <laughs> the answer is not exciting <laughs> It's no Let me turn it up Scoot over somebody Give us He can just go right here He can go in this Look cre- my, little, my little crevice <laughs> <sighs> you like, guys not sex. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I don't like this little crevice. It's not the same anymore. Space out a little bit. What, what are you, bro? Answer the question. Yeah, just answer the question. Answer the question. No, I gotta. Damn, a story time. this is real intimate. Between oh, there's y'all. a whole story time behind this. I don't know why you think he's never heard you have sex. He hasn't. That's delusional. That's a lot. It's not. That's um, not true. How? So over the years of being in this house, a Absolutely. lot of people have made a lot of noise. I'm breathing heavy because I ran up here. <sighs> there was one day in particular. Where I was like, there's no way Lo could be this fucking loud. Oh, we're not talking about that. We already talked about that. I'm talking about this particular day. Oh, okay. Man, this is a special day. <laughs> Lo was going crazy downstairs. Lo was, Lo was down <laughs> Nigga, I heard banging. I heard screaming. Like, I heard it all. Mm. It sounded like a song. <laughs> Lo, Lo didn't make much noise, though. <laughs> what the That's f- legal, though, right? <laughs> all the, all the screaming I heard was not from you. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't for me. Okay. Hey, Lee. And I was like, yo, this is crazy. only has sober sex. (laughs) 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 Yo, this is, yo. John is a nasty nigga. Have you ever, but the question is, have you ever heard Agent have sex? And this same day you were going ballistic. Mm. I was just trying to watch TV. Just trying, oh, to, trying to do is watch TV. What, were you, what show were you watching? I don't know, bro. I was down there with you. But it was just. It you was there that day I'm talking about? Yes. It, was, it felt like it was coming from the vents. <laughs> There's no vents. You turn the TV down. You said you hear that? <laughs> Same day. You turn the, the TV floor down. The floor is shaking, and out of nowhere, the roof starts going crazy, too. <laughs> Oh, so you was going crazy. <laughs> no, that's not, that's Wait, not a real story. So that's what you said. What? what? No, I'm in the middle. I felt like an Oreo. Downstairs is shaking. Upstairs is shaking. And I have to leave the room. No, that's cow. crazy. No, that's crazy. <laughs> that's cow. No, that's crazy. I would have just left the house, actually. <laughs> I, I, I did. I was like, uh, I can't yeah. do this. You had to lie? No, that's cat. Because when, when Lo was... Okay, there's only one person that I would have done that with while Lo was in the house. And we didn't do it in that room. It was in this room. I've heard you say that sex. How, bro? He's because, capping right uh, now. I'm gonna tell you how. He's because, capping right because now. Because you were in this room, and I was about to take a shower, and I was like, oh, I guess I'll just go back down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, damn. I didn't know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll just go back downstairs. And at this point, yeah, um, I've, I've dead ass heard you have sex, man. What, do you think it would like? Can we review or something, bro? Like, do you review, <laughs> man? Oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Should we, should we leave the room? Just leave the yeah, cameras running? bro. Get out. And then just, John, get out. Y'all have your moment and shit? Yeah. No, we're not having a moment. On some real shit, though, I don't think you have. I ha- I'm, I'm being very serious. Was seasonal. it loud? Or you were just close by? No, I was no, I was walking by the door. Okay. And I was about to go take a shower. Next time, I'm going to have to, like, silence. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even try to be quiet at all. I, that's why I got my own house now. Like, maybe a ball gag? I'll invest in it. I'll be crazy in, okay. in, if in a townhouse the next door neighbor's like, nigga, y'all gotta chill out over Y'all gotta chill out, bro. Y'all gotta chill the fuck out. Y'all gotta chill out. Luckily, the bedroom doesn't touch um, a next door neighbor. In a townhouse? Good. Yeah, in a townhouse, yeah. It's tough, man. Good thing we got a, we got an end unit. Y'all definitely just made up some stories, but I'll take it. I mean, so serious when I say I, I came upstairs about to take a shower and you were having sex. I'm not even joking. I wasn't talking about that part, but I did remember hearing. Some well, you weren't you weren't here when that happened. I heard bumping going on that when he's talking about. I don't know if he was having sex. He could be moving stuff. Just a real aggressive massage. But I just heard. <laughs> I heard screams. 
as if like there's like, literally no Vince Downer. Like so if you heard it, was hitting her in the back or something like. Oh my god. Like she was in the middle of like a, a, it, a tower fall or the ceiling caved in. Oh my god! Like if you if you if you heard <laughs> it, dire need of help. Please. If you heard that means that we left the door open by accident because there's no way that there's no vents. There's literally no vents down there. No, I can hear most of the things that happen in your room, bro. Yeah, you don't realize. <laughs> yeah, like you don't know how bad she sound. Like you you do that. Oh, remember man. Lion King? How, what? Remember I know, Lion King which is crazy. When, when the dad fell in that wildebeest amb- ambush, it's called a stampede. A stampede, right? That's what it sounded like if, if, the, if the dad had time to scream. He so was you think he was a roar? Okay, no, it was like a cry for help. He roared though. <laughs> no, I'm talking about what I heard though. No, when he's saying when um, fucking Mufasa fell into the stampede in the Lion King. Mufasa roared. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. He didn't say. Well, I don't ah! think. Well, I'm, I'm not thinking. Tierra. Tierra ah! going. He didn't do that, nigga. <laughs> he roared. See now, if I said she was roaring, it would have been disrespectful. <laughs> I didn't say roaring. <laughs> Look, man. I just. I just take it. I just take it how it is, man. I just can't wait for us to move out of this house so we can tell those stories, man. What house? This house? Yeah. No, we never do that. This is such a great home. I love it. No, I mean, but there'll be a day when we, we won't be here no more. No. So we can really get these stories off, man. Why do you feel like we need to wait till we move out to get these stories off? You going to tell the story what Willie did that, that day? What day? When, we, when me and you was in your room, we were looking out the window. I don't remember. And somebody was sitting on a chair. I don't remember. Hmm? And we're leading somebody else trying to help that person up on the chair. I don't remember. Damn, I got a bad memory. Yeah. It's tough. I'll show it to you. I got to record it. You got a video? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit was crazy. I was like, nigga, you got to I got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and I went downstairs. I went, I went in the main floor, opened up. One of the rooms and ah, you're good. I was like, yeah, exactly. anyway, exactly, um, see, exactly. Um, What's crazy? What's up? I think I had more sex here than both of y'all. Probably. I don't. I don't. I told with, I different, don't. with different women. Probably so. Oh yeah, but in total, I don't think so. No. Why did that come to your mind though? Like as a thought. I was just, I was just thinking about it. Yeah. With different women, probably so. Yeah. No, probably the same. No, I probably went both categories. Different and same. No. Okay. I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. It's an interesting I, thought to cross a straight man's mind, though, generally speaking. Well, different women, for sure, but just sex in total, no. Probably not. Do you have more sex than me, though? He's literally in a relationship. In though. in a relationship in this mean? in in this house? So you have, I mean, you have sex every day? When we were here, yeah, we didn't have sex every day. Okay. So do you have sex every day now? No. 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 And you do. So you have sex every day? No. Okay. So <laughs> what, the, the what are you off? saying? No. What are you saying? Are you, are, so you don't have sex every day. Mm-mm. So it's statistically. Okay. So how did you? How do you? Unlikely. Yeah, right? it's unlikely. But now different women. Sure. 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 I remember when I first when John started just being over here. I was like, bro, we got to start charging this nigga rent or something. Like, yeah. This nigga, this nigga be sleeping in here just as much as me. Like I like. This nigga got milk in the refrigerator and everything. What's going on? You milk in the fridge? I never had milk. I don't drink milk. But everything else is true. I wake up and see low. Yeah, I was like, nigga, who is this nigga? Oh, like, he, he that here was again. Peter with the milk. He here Peter again? Used to keep all expired stuff. Peter used to keep all expired stuff? The fact that you know that too, that, that lets me know you was really here. <laughs> you you know <laughs> no, what other niggas did in this well, house? Well, he will complain about it. No, he did complain about it. Oh, he yeah. did? Yeah. Hey, man. And he'll there's cool a lot of things you can complain about with Lee too. Hmm? I think there's a lot of things you can complain about Waleed. You know what's so funny? I, I realized so I clean up, Waleed, Waleed, Waleed now has he has no other choice but to just stay clean. Oh, he's not. Clean I'm not. I know, but I'm saying I'm not here, and Peter left. So what are you gonna? What are you gonna? He gonna just dump it off on Caleb? Probably next. I mean, I don't think That's Caleb, crazy. I don't think Caleb a dirty person. He is. Yes, hundred percent. He is. Yep. But but all I'm saying is he gonna just because if that's the case he's gonna dump it on Caleb it's like Jesus Christ all right bro no but we clean up like we'll clean up every other day or if it's starting we we'll clean up we we'll clean up now today. bro I'm gonna tell you right now when Before both of too, these niggas came here every day bro when both of these niggas came here they legitimately did not did not know how to clean Who and Waleed and Waleed was, was the worst Waleed was the worst in general oh uh-huh. yes 
Shut the know, fuck up. Yo, his his room was so nasty. You oh, couldn't my, even, I, you I couldn't even find a location I on the knew, floor to step on. I, I knew I knew how to clean. I just didn't clean. Stop. No. Well, stop. We, how to you just chose not to. I chose not to, no. That's okay. worse. First That's of all. Worse. Second of all, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. But I'm well, Lee legitimate. Oh, so you say you just we, as bad. Well Lee, when we first got here, when Lee took dish like dish detergent, like the you clean dishes in the sink, and he yeah. poured that in a dishwasher. And it got suzzy and he came to my door. This is my like the first week or two we was here. He's no, like, yo, crazy. Lo, you gotta you gotta you gotta call the landlord. <laughs> he said, he said, he he said Jackson, yes, he did. He said, he came to the door and says, he said, Lo, bro, you gotta call the landlord, man. The dishwasher broke, man. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, man, it's just it's water and, and suds all over the place. So then I come upstairs and it's just suds all around the fucking dishwasher in the island. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck happened? He's like, yeah, I don't know. I just turned it on, and this is the result. I don't know, man. You gonna have to just call the landlord. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what the fuck? So then I, I so started, he didn't say I put liquid soap into this one. No, so then I started looking. <laughs> I started looking. I was like, what did you put in here? Because we don't have any. We don't have any dishwasher detergent. Like, what, what you doing? And he's like, oh, I just, I just put this in here. I was like, oh my god, Willie, what are you doing, dog? <laughs> and then when there used to be times when he used to put like three or four Tide pods. In the damn wash machine Who me? I, no believe And I can smell <laughs> the shit From downstairs I was like bro What the fuck is going oh, yeah, on You double clean them dishes <laughs> You may got sick You know Them play how clean they were <laughs> I was like bro I can smell you Washing clothes From downstairs That's why you kept All your dishes that's why, you, that's why you hoarded All your dishes Utensils Yeah you kept them All down. I already had Hell hell yeah. for it So now you just bring them up In like a bundle For facts nigga but it's no. too late though. Maybe bent to shit. Like I don't know how you bent the fork. You was chewing the forks. Like someone to be bent. No, I still have the same forks <laughs> now. I still have the same fork now. No, I wasn't. No, bending bending no. metal forks is crazy. Yeah, no. But no, Willie was Willie was hilarious. That shit was fucking funny. He just legit did not know how to clean. But he's better now. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yeah. But that shit was fucking he's, hilarious. He's not that much better though. Yo, but John, at least he knows how to though. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you work out? Uh, either LA Fitness. It's another gym by my house. Well, I just do like basketball runs. I go to, like different rec centers and shit, and just do runs. Yeah, I, I fucked my ankle up yesterday. How doing what? I tweaked it. Like I'm, I'm, probably, I'm, I'm starting my uh, rehab, rehab training Monday. For um, what rehab? For what injury? My ankles, like because oh, my you? ankles is the reason my hips are fucking up. Like they are, everything's intertwined. So your ankles, if your ankles are weak, that cause more pressure on your knees, and if your hips are tight, that means it's that means it's gonna cause more pressure, you know? so it's gonna fuck up everything. So I can't really be the best athlete that I want to be. Yeah, I, see what you're I saying. feel you. Um, first of all, rehab off the rip is crazy. You didn't yeah. get like no imaging or nothing, like X-ray. Well, I mean, there's rehab training. Just nah, like, I get that, oh, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. you fucked uh, it up. Don't you want to like check? Yeah, to you see need if to check like something you, tore, you, or also make sure you you are very precise on what you're rehabbing. Oh yeah, yeah um, I went. Well, I could go again, I guess. I think an Stop, X-ray is like don't, don't lie. An X-ray you, is like a hundred dollars. I went before because I, I had a prescription. I was going to a doctor. Now I'm going to like a sports training center, and they like help. Oh, they probably they get you right there. Yeah. I think yeah. sometimes I depending on doctor, I went to Wellstar Rehab before. I went to a doctor, and they said I just it was like a sprain, and I went to rehab. But if if, if it's something severe where you think you need to rehab, then you should probably have like a professional sit down and explain to you what the fuck. Yeah, maybe I'm saying a word. I, word, no, word. Maybe it's not rehab. Maybe it's just. I think it's yeah, um, I don't know. Fuck, what's that shit Chris You just does? said it again <laughs> Making it sound bad What's another word for it? No, yeah, re- rehab means that you did something severe And you're taking like Physical the, therapy Yeah that's what I'm But even physical, physical therapy, therapy Is pretty extreme too. It's pretty physical. extreme as well That's oh. pretty But like, generally speaking I'm pretty sure they just feel it And they could tell if it's torn or not uh, But if it's like all intact I don't think it's my ankle I feel like it's like this di- disrupt cuff Or like this oh, little muscle in the okay. back Like yeah. my ankle feel fine I feel like when I, sh- when I stretch my You see how I'm stretching my foot like this Yeah like I feel like this little muscle back here Is like Why don't you just go sit down I mean, with a professional bro He has I guess he just, I know but he, he I'll, go, I'll go a game before I go I start Monday I'm gonna have an assessment He gonna give me an assessment And I guess I go to the doctor too Yeah And then I check on my wrist too My wrist hurt I'm falling apart. Yeah, no cap. I started saying, yeah, yeah, you need to, you need to, you need to sit I started stretching rest. like uh, every day now. Uh, who's it? Dominique put me onto this YouTuber who does like stretching videos. I've seen stretching videos before, but I just never followed them. But I I've told been, you, bro. I've been doing these stretching videos. I'm so sweating bad. bullets, bro. It's like yeah. a 15 minute routine. 
I am sweating bullets, bro. I could barely maintain my balance. I'm doing like a fraction of what the person on the video is doing. I do yoga now in the morning. Yeah, that I shit is. I find different YouTube videos. Do don't like, you feel like so loose after? Yeah. Like I just, blood, I feel like I need to work out after because it's like, I just feel like. Uh, but think about if you do that every day and you increase. Like you do like 30 minutes every day. You're going to be so limber and loose. And yeah, that's, that's what I'm going for. Facts, facts. Stuff. I'm just mm. doing lower body shit right now. I haven't done any upper body shit. I'm kind of behind. I should have been doing that. But I feel like once I get my ankles back strong and then I start working out my hip, like this is that part you pull, that groin area. Yeah, I've like been that, working it that's out. That's important in basketball. Like, yeah. That's one reason why that's, a, that's important in just walking. Omar did the same thing where he fucked up something <laughs> and he kept like dodging the idea of sitting mm -hmm. down with a professional and it just ended up getting worse. Yeah, that shit does get worse. Yeah, I've been doing it for two years. So I, I, have have time. A, I have to go hard though than this, this next <laughs> month. Every single thing you said sounds dumb. He said, I've been, I've been avoiding it for two years. Like, geez, not avoiding nigga. it, but I've been thinking like it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> nigga, sit down. Are you talking about your ankle right now? Yeah, nigga, sit down with somebody. If it's been off and on for two years, nigga, you need to sit down with that's somebody. Not, that's I'm not a sprain. Sitting down with somebody a few. Yeah, that's not. Ago. Yeah, that's not a sprain. That's <laughs> another thing. A sprain don't linger on for two years, nigga. Two years is crazy. I, mean, I can still, I still hoop and stuff. I'm still, just saying, like, like I, I still use my wrist, but there's torn cartilage here. For real? Yeah. How long will it take for that to heal? Uh, he said, just keep putting weight on it for the next couple months, like progressively, um, and it should be straight. But. Cartilage and I, the way I remember, if I have my exercise science right terminology, cartilage is just the gooey stuff in between your joints that makes it so that you don't feel pain when you move your joints. It does it rebuild or no? It does, but it's not that vascular, so there's not that much blood that flows through it, so it rebuilds slowly. But it rebuilds though. Uh, and the alternative is surgery, and then you put a brace on your hand. Um, he didn't even consider that as an option because he just felt like it wasn't severe enough. Uh, but if you have pain, then it might be severe enough. I don't have any pain in my wrist. That's why he said, don't even bother. Yeah, you know, that's why d Way had to retire early. Cartilage? Or he, yeah. He had no you cartilage in his, uh, in his knees. Yeah, because once you lose all the cartilage, like it's done. It's, mm -hmm. You can't add cartilage to your body. And he he shouldn't have played his last year in college. He should have taken that time out to repair the cartilage. Fuck Marquette. Tough! I mean, never mind. I don't mean that. <laughs> okay. Um, no, the reason I say that, though, is because... Um, I have an important event again in a month where I need to be very physically active for. Mm. Uh, so I'm hoping to drop like, you know, 10, 15 what's, what's pounds. What's happening in a month? Ah, the NBA playoffs. Okay. So sure. going to be you and uh, who? FaZe. AMP and FaZe going at it. NBA playoffs. NBA events. playoffs, yeah. <laughs> FaZe and FaZe and FaZe v AMP. Yeah, man. I like that, man. Yeah. You playing power forward. <laughs> I'm like, playing center. I'm like Chuck Hayes, nigga. Uh, Chuck Hayes. Uh, or, I don't know. Or someone said Charles Barkley. That's power four. So we went back to P. -P yeah, but Charles Barkley. You trying, trying to train with us? Caleb trying to train with me too. Yeah, but I, I just picked up a personal trainer is what I'm saying. But I'm, I just told him to come here. I'm just going to lift in the garage. I'll buy like some dumbbells and shit to add to my gym. Mm. Oh, for real? Yeah. You got a personal trainer coming here? Yeah. I bet. And he's a great price, yeah. You want, you going to come here? You want to come here too? I'm just gonna look from the bushes. What y'all do from the side? Some binoculars. What do you say, dude? Six push ups. Six right. That's crazy. Bro, just go get yourself your own personal trainer, man. No, I have a, um, I already have a membership. I have two memberships and I have like an app. But I mean, I'm not talking about, about a personal trainer right now. Why not? I'm not gonna lie. Just you buy, work, just buy you work one, out man. so much harder with a personal trainer. Yeah, just buy one, bro. bro. I don't know a single. Everyone that started using personal training. That's, past, what that, that's the dude I'm starting right now. Like, I have a trainer for basketball already, mm -hmm. and I got that physical trainer. So he's going. It's going to be workouts. So physical gonna trainer. Out. Physical training. Physical therapy. You mean? Like I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing workouts that strengthen everything, but he's also going. to Work on my ankle. Okay, I'm so, just I'm specifically that's, talking that's about lifting therapy. weights. Yeah, I'm not talking about Yo, just like buy yourself a trainer, rehabilitating bro. Like, no, that's what buy I'm, yourself a trainer, bro. He is a he is a trainer. No, you're me. talking about therapy to, to strengthen like I'm a portion of your body, bro. Just buy a trainer, bro. Why are you saying like that? Buy a trainer because <laughs> he's like, getting to get a trainer, man. Yeah, get a trainer. Just buy one, man. Just God get, damn. Just get one, John. Just fun. get one, man. But um, how much it costs? It depends. I know people that got like really now. That's a bad thing. Are we doing everything? Listen. Her? No. Look, Let me see. Like, <laughs> Let me see. What does she, what she look like? You horny fuck. Damn. Oh, I clicked the story. My bad. That's good. Oh, never mind. It's not a story. Yeah, but it's everything. God. They specialize in. Oh, oh, that's fire. I like shit like this. Is that just balance and like, it? look, they're using like uh, training resistance training. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> and they got medicine balls. I have and to go and buy him. Just say get. 
right? How um how much how much does it cost? You can get personal training. Uh oh, that I don't know. How much, how much it cost? It's a session. It's seventy five a session. Seventy five a session. Damn, that's pretty expensive. It is. <laughs> yeah, it John. Is. yeah. That's it on is, the low. that's on the high end. <laughs> on the high end, low. You get you get a deal. Huh? You getting, you getting discount? I t- I, t- I told him my uh, my big cousin suffers from obesity. I don't want to follow his tracks. And I sent him a picture of you, so he gave me a, a good price. Seventy five dollars is a good price, huh? Seventy five dollars. Nah, is a good you price? can find it for like Damn. thirty, bro. Bro, people getting robbed 30. every day. That's yeah. crazy. Thirty? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, the facility. Yeah, nice know, I don't know, nigga. You you getting robbed, nigga? Bro, um, people get robbed every day. But that's I mean, thirty five. If he came to me, or we just meet at a public gym, that's his own spot. That yeah. should be even cheaper than his own spot should be cheaper. I, don't, I didn't think that was a bad price. We know basketball training is 65 per session. Yeah, bro. All right, here. Just you take can this. get take that this. for free. Take this out of my hand. Take this out of my hand. Yeah, you can get a basketball take, take trainer. From, from who? Uh, you got to hey, make connections. You hey, John, you got a message, um, but just take that out of my hand. Oh, what did the message say? <laughs> I, I could already tell what it said. Um, what am I to say? Uh, where would you find? Which, which? I mean, the person like the place that I'm going to, I can't find people. I had a trainer before that one when I was cheaper, and he was like 25 a session. But he didn't have all the equipment that the other one had to offer. Like yeah. A Burger Max, a shooting machine, an indoor court that's his. I have 24 access to if I need to. Okay. Like the benefits like that. I see what you're saying. But he was. He was 75. 25 is, but I had to go to my gym. Yeah, niggas get gym. niggas get raises on peer to peer company, and niggas go crazy. <laughs> Better myself, y'all are gonna spend it on bitches <laughs> or going to strip clubs. No, nah, I'm just saying. I, man. I think that it, it would probably be better spent if you just get a membership at a great gym and just use a program. Because uh, you're not trying to like. I did. I do like Lifetime, but that shit's so far from me. It's it's also really expensive, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. So what's another gym you talking about? That's the greatest gym I know so far. Yeah, it is low key. There's another one uh, by Wendy Hill. It's, well, how much it's is like your trainer charging you to come here? Uh, I don't want to say it on video, but it's definitely cheaper than what you're charged. And he Damn. comes here too. Really? Does he? Is it? Did he? Is it? Does he know you, or is it like? Mm. It is like a random nigga. No, I've I've worked with him before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dramatically cheaper, or just like probably like like significantly cheaper. Damn, bro, you getting robbed? Yeah, not really. Because I I really just want to get stronger. Because like, physical physical training is different from regular training. Don't you love when bro people try to like convince the the spending habits? But he's he's not spending on bullshit though. I'm not saying he is. Yeah, I'm not saying he is. I'm not. Why why do you want to get better at basketball though? I understand like the physical therapy. I I like basketball and it makes exercising easier for me. Yeah, that's true. It's a better way of cardio. I would rather play basketball than run. I don't mind running. Running is horrible. No, running is the worst. It's a good release and it it helps clear my mind too. I like basketball. It's like I can make content and get paid for it. On the back end. Mm-hmm. Mm, I see what you're doing there. Investments. Putting it back in. Oh, I like Put that. it back into the basketball. Putting it concept. back in. Yeah, putting it back in. Who's like it? That. Uh, Chris White told me he's you coming. You're reaching. You're going to pull a muscle. Okay. Okay. You should come. Chris White texted me, said he's uh, pulling up soon. I don't want to um, give Hopefully a date. My shit's better by then. Well, Lee told me somebody else was coming too. There's a lot of people coming to the city low key yeah. in the next few weeks. Why? I don't want to play nobody. I, I don't know. I just. Mm. Mm. Who knows, I don't like man. playing on a bit scale when I'm not healthy. Because, nigga, when you make excuses, you can't make excuses. They're going to be like, oh. Yeah, absolutely not. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, like, like even oh, me, my, my wrist is not fully back. Exactly. I'm not going to complain about it. I just play through it. Now, I'm playing with people that, like, it's not going to be on a main platform and get recorded or something like that now. I don't care. Like, if I do bad or my shit start hurting, I don't got to play for real. But you playing with people that actually do this and going to be recorded, I am I want to play when I'm healthy. So mm-hmm. I, don't have to, I don't have to make excuses. You True. 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 You could also just execute. Some people would say. No, 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 no. I'm not getting paid enough to go out there and fuck myself up for real. Nah, I went to the um the phase versus AP NFL event with a bruised knee, Nigga, uh inflamed hip brand. and a torn tendon. That's your it brand. Is, it is his you brand. No, no, no. We had no interest in losing a, we went there with the expectation of winning. Yeah. Right, but FaZe has a roster of hundreds of people to pick from. Like we were the underdogs, but I think Brett Favre throwing awful balls helped a lot. But I mean, like that's different. Like AMP is like your big, like big money. You're making good money from that. Like I'm not gonna just go out there no. with nothing. No, what I benefit from? I go out there and I we win. didn't we didn't make we make didn't, good money for that. No, we don't make anything off AMP. We just put it all I'm back serious. in. 
You get like it's, it's your brand. Yeah, it's your brand. I guess the brand got like something say, from it. You need a John say, family, bro. John family hoop session. That'd yeah, be yeah, fire, yeah. actually. It would be, but I say if I get it going, like right now, say if I did that video, I said I did a video, uh, hoop video. And I just dropped it regularly, and I fucked my ankle up really bad just trying to do it. At some point in this podcast, you're gonna start talking to the mic. I just, just clear with that. Oh, <laughs> I can hear myself. That's why I'm, I can. Know I'm Everyone about. says you're quieter than us. I'm quieter. I yep. think partially because we need a meta booster on that mic, but also because you never talk into it. Yeah, I'm over closer, but it's just like mm. you whether if you was gonna if you was gonna race your car, right? Mm-hmm. You was gonna race agent for your car. That's not it, because there's no stakes though in a game. That's, like if you're if he's if, if he's no pink stakes, slipping me, then there's would you stakes. Rather, yeah, that's what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. Would you rather race agent for free and risk messing your car up, or know that it's a five hundred thousand dollar prize if you win? But well, there's that's, no that's a better for him. Prize. That's better for him because then you would ask him, are you going to then just wait to get mods to potentially yeah. win the prize? Yeah, when you wait to get mods, you risk. It. But if you risk it, because he because he, he would lose without the mods. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, I see what you, I see you what, what you're saying. saying. I, I was trying to explain saying. like that. Like yeah, if it's, I see if it's high stakes, saying. like I know, like okay, it's but it's not high stakes get, though. Come back. Yeah, the, the I'm point. The point is not. It's not high stakes. The point he's making is no high stakes. Yeah, it's just people coming here to play basketball. Yeah, and it will be recorded. So I guess if that's high stakes, but when are we doing that? When are we doing that? Doing what? I know you said you're gonna get your mods, but bro, um. I, I'm finishing up a video of my T Rex in a couple of days, and then I have to I saw, ship it back the, to the garage. I saw the stickers. Yeah, I have to ship it back to the garage, and it's, they're gonna have it for like a week and a half, two weeks. And as for the mods, are just to finish the. Uh, they're, they're waiting on the parts. They got to paint a whole bunch of shit, mm. and then install the mods, and then uh, we're changing the logo on the bed of the truck. And then you'll be ready. Yeah, so it should be done in two weeks. But again, there's been so many delays. I have no fucking clue. I get my M4 back soon though. Hopefully in a couple of days. That doesn't do anything. Yeah. Well, you, yeah. Still, I mean, yeah. M4 is not a track car at all. No, I don't want to say that. It's not a drag car. It would kill it on the track. Kill it. Cutting corners. Holy. Yeah, but then as soon as you go straight, you don't go straight too much in tracks, brother. It's just about how you cut into corners, man. We'll see. I don't care. We'll see. But yeah, I've been. Uh, yeah, I need to get more. I've been doing better though. You know, I'm down uh, 26, 25 pounds since the start of the year. Mm. Yeah, man. Why is that? Uh, Cause I told my Twitch audience that if I didn't get down to two hundred pounds by J- July first, that uh, I was gonna give away a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, I mean, like, I mean, like, is there anything particular that you're doing? Not. Oh, I, I kind of just want to be fit. Like, I'm waiting too long. Like, mm-hmm. I'm wasting my life not being fit. I want to mm-hmm. be fit, bro. It's gonna feel great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I don't I'll know. I'll cut why. down too with you if you want. Yeah, let's do it. He already cut down. Once I um, how much I, are you I, trying I to drop? Really I'm trying to get a schedule together for. My training and rehab thing, both at the same time. I think I'm, I'm gonna straight back up quick because I lost a lot of weight. I gained a little bit, but people have been telling me like when I was from beginning of the pot tonight in the middle, they're like, "John, your face like you cut up." I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. What it called? Um, fuck around, start slacking. Not slacking, but yeah, shit I feel like you. This, it could mean shit like this happened. Yeah, me too. So I be doing great, then I go on a trip, and it fucks me up. <laughs> Time the trip or that injury, like my wrist start hurting, so it's like bench yeah. press hurt, push up start. Yes, hurting. yeah. Well, like, first of all, your wrist shouldn't hurt on a bench press, huh? No, I'm saying I knew when it started hurting, I couldn't do that kind of stuff. No, I have a um, uh, yeah, I don't know. your wrist should not hurt on a bench, though. Yeah, that's probably where I feel like I'm, I still bench. That's one of the exercises that I can do, thankfully. Like it started hurting after that video, that live stream. It, it hurt after that. It hurt after that. Damn. So it might have been. I don't know what it was. What last stream you talking about? Uh, me and John did like we a did workout like a, stream, a workout. Oh. but we really didn't do much aside from bench press and overhead press. So it might have been. It might have been a bench. It might have been a bench press. I don't know what it was, but it didn't start. So just, I don't know if it was a curse or nothing. Oh well, the curses aren't real. So let's start I'm there. Say, why would you say that? Yeah. So we can rule that out. It's probably something else. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, what about I say? But yeah, like that hurts my ankle. What are you trying to get down to? What are you now? Like 180, 190? I'm at like 189 right now. Probably I probably want to cut down probably 170 and then put on muscle. Wow. 170 is going to be lean as fuck for you. Uh, yeah. I was at 170 January. Remember when oh, I came Oh, yeah. When you were wearing tank tops every day? Yeah. <laughs> I still do. I just got you know to you don't. I do. I have not seen you in a tank top in a good second. <laughs> but you don't live here no more. But I used to see you a lot, and I don't live here. 
I well, should see you a well, lot. I have a shirt on now. I'm not gonna lie. The second I get down underneath 200, I'm definitely uh, it's tank top season for me. Mm. You will not catch me with a short a sleeve. No, no. You used to walk around the house with just a tank top. I, I had one earlier all day today. Oh, okay. I just put clothes on now. Yeah, back, Man, but back when to... I back, but back like a few months ago, you used to just walk around with it, and you just didn't give a fuck. It didn't matter what time of day. Yeah, it was. I was I was super lean. I want to get like to 170, and then put on muscle and be at a good solid like a strong 195. You gonna put twenty five pounds of muscle on? So you gonna put twenty plus? It's take you a couple years, brother, but you could do it. No, I want, I want that. a good balance. What? Well, well not necessarily. John, if you put in just strictly twenty pounds of straight muscle, <laughs> you know how difficult that is, especially yeah. for somebody who's not like constantly. Unless you're on steroids, yeah, you have to either constantly be like fluctuating with weight with muscle, or you have to be on steroids. One or two. Well, let me let me rephrase. Like that you can't man. do like probably probably one eighty and ten pounds of muscle. Facts. I want to be at, I want to be at my my peak. Twenty five pounds body. of muscle is crazy. Yeah, that, that I don't know I don't know why. It's, yeah, it's 20, 25 pounds of muscle. But I want to be my my. What's it called? My goal is 195, 200 pounds, but in my best form. If that mm. makes sense. Mm-mm. So you'd have to have like LeBron genetics. Or yeah, I'm, like that. I'm down. I'm on my shit. By the end of the year, I'm going to look like completely different, but not skinnier, though, because when I look skinny, I'm just look malnourished. What you doing, low? Just like healthier. You know, what's so crazy. I told my um, Twitch chat that I gotta lose 100 pounds in a year. When you tell him that? And if I don't do that. And I have to wrap my my um, Tesla any color they want. I'm definitely putting dicks on it. They yeah. decided Dick for, Brown. They decided for me to wrap it. Um, wrap it a penis, pink, a penis pink, wrap. No, pink with Westbrook on the hood. <laughs> pink with Westbrook on the hood. Imagine paying five bands for a custom wrap just for it to be hideous. No, you should do all pink bricks. All uh, all pink brick with, with they, Westbrook on it. They said they said pink with Westbrook and on the side of Westbrook bricks. You should have like a brick. You know, like the brick wall. <laughs> He's like driving around like the biggest hater. <laughs> like like the Bob the Bob the Builder meme of him with a bunch so of. So have bricks. you started losing weight? This is March, the beginning of March. Well, beginning of this month. Okay, it gave me a year. So how 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 much weight have you lost? Uh just three pounds. Yep. From what stones? Pounds. I said yes. Okay. Pounds. Where are you stones from? I don't know. <laughs> Are you fasting? Uh, no. A lot of this shit, I just, I just try to stop eating um, shit late at night. That hmm. alone. That alone. Imagine low lean. Would he look like Omar? Probably so. <laughs> probably so. <laughs> Can you imagine a second Omar? <laughs> Pro- probably so. Probably so. <laughs> probably so. I'm trying to imagine you lean. It would probably look like Omar. Cause Omar look like me. Have you ever seen a Charlie picture of Omar? Yeah, I have. Yeah, he looks like me. No, that'd be hilarious. Oh my god. Do you think you'd be funny still? What? <laughs> That's a crazy assessment. Yeah, I've I mean, ever you may lose your your funny appeal because big niggas automatically are like a funny. plus fifty attribute yeah. for all they jokes. So if you get skinny, well, Omar's not funny. He's not. He's not. He's yeah, not. that's why I asked. I think no, he's just, John is. John is he's funny. He's not as funny as you. John is funny. But I'm naturally funny. I've been small the whole time. You're funny off of your big appeal. I'm not going to be able to join you no <laughs> that's more. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm not that's, be you, that's you being funny. Honestly, I'm going to be honest with y'all. If you get rich before he gets fit or vice versa, one of you guys going to be out of jokes, bro. I'm going to be out of Yeah, if you, if you slim down, like, I'm going to be out of jokes. Out of jokes. Other than you just ugly. Well, me, <laughs> me, me slimming down, me slimming down would be way easier to do than Well, him. you can't even really say that once he's fit, bro. Well, no, it's not. I know some scammers. If it came down to a time crunch, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> but I don't, no, so that whole yeah. scamming yeah, just so you can make yeah. fun of him is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga John came in the podcast one day. He's like, no, nah, this nigga's slimming down a little too quick. Yeah. yeah I'm going to have to start nigga. credit card scamming ASAP. Yeah, let me hit hey, up my T-Mobile nah, but plug. It's gonna take, it may take you exactly a year in 16 hours. 100 pounds lose. in a year is a lot. Yeah, I know. And you don't do nothing at all. You have took no foot step forward. What? what? That's some hater shit to say. What the fuck? But he hasn't. That's being he just a, say that's he just, real. He just said, "Wait, what? what you said you've done what you want." Hmm. He stopped eating late. That's what okay, he said. but this is one step at a time, bro. It's not a step. No, no cap. If he just makes five small changes to his life, I guarantee you he drop a hundred. You got it's see, just gonna be hard. If we be nice to him. It's not gonna push him to be good. No, no it's not like about this, being nice. But the thing, is, but the thing is, I don't. I think dieting is a, a massive problem because it's not like I even even when I was younger, I would I would play soccer, football, and basketball, and I would still either stay the same or gain weight. 
So I don't I don't think like of course me being active would help. But all throughout high school high school I used to have gym class every year. So it's not like I wouldn't I even be active. Gym class don't stop you from being obese. And I'm not saying that. Okay, okay, that's that's kind of that's kind of proving my point. Well, the point I'm making though is about how you eat. Really. That's what I'm saying. The point I'm making is that I've been. It's not like this. There hasn't been stages in my life where I haven't been active at all. There's been plenty of stages. But it's not. I, I personally don't think it's activity that's going to save you though, because that's what, that's what I'm you saying. You have to it's eat a lot diet. to maintain like a heavy weight. That's what I'm saying. It's going yeah. to be. You're going to have to do a lot of high intensity cardio. A lot. You're going to have to. Burn, that, have yeah, to sweat I think. A lot. I disagree. But, but the point I I'm disagree. making, I think you like just do a whole bunch of low intensity gonna, stuff. Weight training is but not going to make you lose weight. But John, the point I'm making though is that I used to. Why play. are you saying that? What the fuck? He if he puts on muscle, his muscles going to burn he calories. Just, if he just does weight training alone. He's going to have to do high. That's probably the cardio. best thing he can do. But the point, but the point I'm making, yeah. though, John, John. No cardio is short term. You go to the gym right now. You 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 do a whole bunch of cardio. You burn 600 calories, right? He puts on muscle. That muscle is going to burn calorie every day because your muscle eats up energy. So also, it's again, better for long-term weight loss to be muscular. John, what I'm saying is there was points in my life where I was highly active. I was playing soccer and I was still gaining pounds. What, what point? Were you, you just eating soccer? a lot or what? I was eating. Yeah, I was eating. What, what point were you playing soccer? What, what, what year was this? I played soccer. What year? Yeah, I played soccer when I was a I don't know a, what a year. Baby. Well, not, I wasn't a baby. No, I wasn't You was in high school? You were like 10? Yeah, I was over 10. So you was like basically, and I was, but even even in high school, I was playing football. Even uh, even even when I was bopper. even when I was in high school, high school, I was playing football and basketball. You playing basketball? So you just out ate yeah. the activity. No, while well, I was playing football, I stayed the same. You know what you should do, bro? What, what position did you play? In what basketball? In, in football. Come on, line. Yeah, yeah, but right. I mean, you're not basketball is a better question. What you playing basketball? Yeah, yeah what the fuck? What you playing basketball? Um, power forward. There's somebody. There's somebody who was taller than me. Now you had a noticeable team. He was, he, was like, he was like noticeably taller than me. You, you were you're five eleven, right? Five ten. Football. Yeah, but he football, was. I don't he was like six four because you're on the line. You're supposed to be big. I yeah. know, but they, we were we were they, we were still the coach I had was very big on um, just running. Like we used to have to run the whole field, like the whole like were around. You was giving hundred percent effort. Like, like you want to go to the next and, level. You know so crazy. You know so crazy. If no 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 wait. I'm and and if I wasn't. Cause it was. I remember the first two times where I was like trying to like half ass it. The nigga would say, "Everybody stop!" and then put us all the linemen in the front, so we had to lead it, so we couldn't slack behind. So yeah, that is a t- that's a point in my life where you on a basketball I, team. Yeah, that's a point in my time. That's a point in my life where I gained muscle. I I'd seen him play basketball. He has no abilities. Hey, I'm can, not I, can I, can hey, I finish? You know this, can I, this lady came up to me and sniped. <laughs> I was hooping the other day. This one, I rolled my ankle. It was like this sixty-year-old lady. She just stopped. You know how old people just stop and talk. Okay. So she started talking to us, right? And she was trying to convince us that she was dunking. She was probably a, your height or a little bit smaller. She was like she was dunking. She, she was five story. ten, five eleven. Yeah, a, a, older black lady. She was like she was dunking, chin at the rim. Um, chin at the rim. She used to play back in segregation, and she was, she tells the old story. Then she. She backed up Snipe, like boxed him out, busted his lip, Snipe falls to the ground. <laughs> it's the funniest thing because we didn't see it coming. We were just all talking, right? She was like, yeah, I was the strongest girl. I used to get in there and box him out. She just they showed you Snipe as an example to start boxing him out. Snipe Where y'all at? At a grocery store? <laughs> at, yeah, the at the gym. She just came out of nowhere. She backed Snipe in, just backs him up. He hits the wall, falls. So I think he's just being dramatic. Snipe comes back, lip busted. He talk, he talk about where the bathroom at. I was looking at him. I said, damn, your shit busted. He went to the bathroom and never came back. So she was like, oh, man, I hope I didn't scare your friend away. <laughs> so I'm scare him away. What about to say? Um, the point <laughs> I made, no, John, is that there's been plenty of time in my life where I've been active. And I didn't lose. Either I retained it or gained muscle or I just, just didn't lose weight. I'm the same way, man. I'm convinced everybody's body different. So your bare mi- your um. You- <laughs> so why do you keep fighting the shit we telling you? I'm not fighting what you're saying, but I'm just I'm t- saying like I don't. Th- I'm not no no expert on, on, on weight <laughs> loss and all like that. But what I don't think you just did. If he just did weight training, <laughs> like just weight training without cardio, that's is it'd be great for him. But I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not saying. Here's the thing. I'm not saying what you're I saying. Wish I did is, that. That's how mad I am at myself. I did the same thing. I just did low intensity and hit training. I did both, and but, but you did a lot of fasting though too. Yeah, I fast all the time, but I, I can work out through the fasting. It doesn't give me less energy, but what I I'm wish s- I worked out more. No what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is I don't, 
in terms of your what you're saying about weightlifting versus cardio and the amount, amount of time I need to do it, I don't know what you're saying is right or wrong, but what I am saying is the one thing that has me. been, huh? You should train with me. Yeah, I guess. But the, but the one thing I'm saying, the one thing I'm saying though that has been constant or I haven't at least put a lot of effort in is dieting. So that's what I'm saying. Mm. Because there has been, like I said, there has been moments in my life where either there has been either weightlifting, cardio, and or both, and that hey, wasn't, dude. they didn't have that much of an effect. That's Do you think saying. fasting made it easier for you to lose weight at the speed you lost it? Yeah, I think if I didn't fast, I, I, instead of being 330, I'd be like 400 pounds. No exaggeration. Because I feel like fasting and you working out, fighting through that, helped you lose it, and you saw the, and it continued to help you work. It's supposed to, though. That's, that's, but that's if how. You don't fast, if you, I don't even know. That's, I, you got to talk to a dietitian. Dietitian. Yeah. But Me either. I don't know. He fasted and worked out. So I can I'm not see. saying I'm not going to work out, John. I'm just I'm just telling you the one thing that I have not done in my life is get on a, a very strict diet. And That's one of the, one of the problems that I've had is what kind late, of diet late night thinking? eating. And right now I've been that. I've been trying to what is it? What's it called when you cut out like a lot of like carbs? A keto? Yeah. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I'm. I'll, I'll be go full keto. But like I've been eating a lot of fish, sushi, um, and even if I eat a carb, it'd be like beans. And if I've had like black rice, I mean not black, brown rice with um chipotle, but yeah. it hasn't been like no crazy shit like on some like I've been I've been I think I haven't had fried food. I think I only have fried food like once or twice this entire month. You should try counting like each calorie. Like don't consume a thing until you know exactly how much like calories is in it and mm. macros. Bro, I underestimated how much I was eating for the last like year and a half. That's actually how I put up back. Like once I moved back to the AMP crib, mm. when, once we got the crib, that's how I put on my weight. I just mm. assumed I knew what the fuck I was doing. Mm. But once you start like putting it down, you're like, bro, I eat how much today? Mm. Um, that shit transformed. It such sounds like people have told me that so many times, but when I actually started doing it, I was like, bro, that's like 600 more calories. I didn't even know I was eating. Mm. I was just giving myself best case scenario each time. Um, but. Yeah, the problem is that when I when I I just need to eat, I can I can probably eat more, and like you said, I can I probably just eat better in terms of what I'm consuming. Yeah, facts. Like today, I've only eaten once, but I could probably have eaten better and eaten more than just one time today. Yeah, so yeah. indeed, man. Let me talk about that. I need to eat better. I always think about it late night in the bed that I'm gonna start tomorrow eat better. And then I don't get a chance to eat what I thought I was going to eat. And I end up eating some bullshit because it's close, convenient. Yeah. Or facts. I don't have time to cook. Or That's why I just have my food delivered now. There's healthy spots out here. No, I there isn't. Them. And there isn't in Atlanta. There's not that many healthy spots. Well, and all of them close at like 7 p.m. Damn, I wish I, I can't really say this. But on my side of town, there kind of is. Oh, where? Yeah. Yeah, not much here. Just fucking fried food and yep. fast food and things of that That was nature. the one thing I've... Yeah, I'm not. I'll just say it off, off the podcast. Why are you holding the podcast back? No, because it might then conclude where I live. <laughs> just say it, man. Oh my gosh, hey, Jesus! That's that fine. Oh, spot going to oh, it's going to, yeah, it'll just, gonna tell the area. Yeah, it'll tell the area for sure. You think niggas looking for you? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> 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 niggas crazy. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> um, anything else? Oh yeah, Megan Stallion might have actually been lying, but. Yeah, we'll figure yeah, out. She might soon. be done. Niggas been on. Yeah, she might. Her. She might be done. Dead ass. I, I, if I she been, did lie, bro, man. I've been be. trying to hold off on that for a good second, but Meg might have actually lied. That's tough. If she did, bro, she man. Because it don't make no it's sense to lie. Thing. Well, at first when I heard the news of like Drake and Rihanna unfollow her, I was like, ah, that's kind of like yeah. But then when I heard Rihanna dropped her from um, Fenty, I was like, man, that's that's tough. Because like, why would you drop? Like a massive, like public figure, female public yeah, figure, a real hottie. Yeah, you. There's no rhyme or reason why you would do that unless like there's a few like telltale signs that it's about to come out that she was probably lying. Yeah, and that's tough. And you're just trying to get ahead of it. That will be tough. They'll make a banger video. Yeah, no, hundred percent. It will make you, a banger. You hear about the person that lied about Chris Brown? Oh yeah, then I saw that too. Yeah, bro, the girl lied about Chris Brown trying to um. Sexually assaulting her, and then the nigga put out the um, the um, the text messages and shit like that, and she was thirsting over that nigga, 
bro, like, it's like excessively, like, I don't know what's going on. Like, you just didn't text me back, and I just, I just need it. I need it again. Like, just hit me back up, and da da. Like, you would have, <laughs> you would have thought, like, you, the shit I'm saying right now, you probably thinking I'm dragging it, but no, I'm actually not dragging it. She was like actively saying, like, why haven't you hit me back up again? Like, what's going on? Like, I just, I need it again. I just need it some more. Bro, it's hard to be a just a nigga like me and Chris Brown. It's hard for us, bro. They just not doing that yet because I don't got no money. It wouldn't be no. It wouldn't be no. No point. You do you hear what we saying though, right? Like she she put a false sexual yeah. assault claim on him. Yeah. Why are you th- why are you why are you striving? Why you put that? your hat in that pool, dog? Yeah, why why are you? <laughs> oh no! Why do you want to do that? That's what <laughs> no, we're saying. No, 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 he, he was turning her down, and I'm she was like lying on niggas. True. Huh? That's not that's the pot I was throwing in the yeah. lying on niggas part. Yeah. Not that. Not your pot. I put in a different <laughs> offering pot, not your pot. You said you and Chris Brown. Yeah, Chris I'm Brown is in pot. the pot of lying yeah, 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 so much yeah. so that I jumped over that pot. Not that I didn't want that pot. But Chris Brown is in that yeah, pot yeah, right yeah. now. He's in that. That's not the pot I want to be in. So don't say you and Chris no. Brown I just told then. you the pot I was going to be in. Is he not listening? You know what pot I want to be in? <laughs> you didn't hear the pot I want to be in? No, I didn't. You miss it. <laughs> All right, so just don't be in the same pot with Chris Brown where women are lying on you to the tune of sexual assault. Yeah, because that's that's a very dangerous thing to claim, especially when you know Does niggas she, already has a she, past. She, she's not even just sexual assault; the worst type of yeah. So and then on top of that, we didn't read the fucking text messages, and you were fiending for that nigga cock for like two months. Like why even lie <laughs> knowing those texts exist? <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't know. I have no idea why. Dreaming about a nigga nuts, and it was only a matter of time before like they were they were going to leak and be like, oh yeah, remember you was like really wanting to fuck this nigga over and over and over and over and over. Should be like serious time for that right there. It should be like like, I don't. I have no idea why like we don't put people in jail for like false accusations, especially when there's like more than enough evidence. If it's clear that it's a false, ruin somebody else's career. It it will. That that those type of false accusations will absolutely lose ruin somebody's career. So it is like why even go down that route, especially when there's clear evidence that that is not the case at all. That's tough. Chris Brown is also the best rapper basketball player I've ever seen. That's all. I saw his revolt in that revolt series, bro. He is a fucking bucket. I had never seen. That. Lil Durk was pretty good too when I saw him play. Um, Two Chains is decent. I want to say young younger Two Chains is probably beat. Chris Brown. But two chains is like he just played a while ago. Like he has a while. Say, if you, he has if, a while ago sauce. But Chris Brown is him, nice. But have you seen him when he was younger? Oh no. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But he's nice. not. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But he is the best ball player, um, rapper I've ever seen. Okay, I'm talking about Who? right now, bro. When two you I've if you, t- you if you go watch two chains like ten years ago when he was Titty Boy, I guess, whenever that was, that nigga was nice. Like I believe you. I'm yeah. talking about right now though. Two chains pulled up a couple times at OTE when a thousand. First time he came, uh, he was shooting and shit at halftime. Mm. Bricks. Mm. Yeah, but uh, he has good form. Like you could tell, he played a lot growing yeah. up. Uh, he sure. just doesn't have it no more. Yeah. Yeah, and it might be Chris running. If you talking about right right now, you dodge a bullet, John. No, I seen a bullet. Mm. <laughs> oh wow, two of them. Mm-hmm. Big oh. hollow tips. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, Chris Brown, he probably is. He probably yeah, is, yeah. Uh, I'm, I can't think of one right now, so he probably is. Indeed. But hey, man, if you guys enjoyed the podcast, drop a like. The video is available at Peer to Peer on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. Make sure to go. No, the gang, 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 gang. Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher. We appreciate y'all. Apple Podcast. Make sure to rate us a five star. Look, man, his agent is low. Is John? Any final words? No, I'm good. Oh my god! Okay, you know what I'm saying. You know I've been. You know people been uh, hitting me up on the podcast now. Yeah. What do you mean? I, I, a lot of girls be watching this. I appreciate. So that. what you getting pussy off of the podcast now? Yeah, pussy and money. Y'all talking about got my priorities <laughs> fucked up. They right <laughs> in the right place, big guy. <laughs> I love y'all, man. <laughs> Fuck audio, Mac. Love all you bitches. I fuck with all you Getting niggas. pussy on this podcast is crazy, man. <laughs> that it's, it's, it, I Getting, thought it was unheard of. Who would have thought? Getting pussy on this podcast is the craziest <laughs> shit in the world, bro. Man, you see how life works, man. You gotta be in that pot. Getting pussy on this podcast and like... You, you, just, you wish you were single. No. Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> Hey man, because I'm gonna y'all... tell you right now, any woman, a nigga, a woman thirsting over a nigga because he flips a camera from time to time, 
That's crazy, right? Nah, that's some hater shit. What the fuck? No, I'm not. I'm not hating on him. I'm talking about the type of woman that. But it's not why they would hit him up though. You know what I'm saying? Why they hit him up? Do you think they hit him up because he's a great producer? <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if the women see this nigga every now and then, it's like, oh but shit. But I appreciate you being on the front of the camera. When I flip it to me, it gives him some relief. It kind of gave me like a boost. Mm. Like see, feel, John I, is getting the ugly jokes ready because he can't rely solely on the fat jokes. Mm, Probably yeah, gotta make sure if Low gets, start losing if weight. Low gets fit and then he glows up on you. Now I'll be. I'll be uh, I guess you can make fun of his fits then. Yeah, but, but if he's he not gonna be a stylist. He's gonna have to buy new clothes. Okay, what? So he may upgrade his drip. True. Oh, if you buy jeans size or size after you lose weight, nah, nah. But if you do lose weight, I, I wonder just, what do you look like. Actually, me too. Oh, I, he had to look like Omar. Yeah, he had to look like Omar. Like Omar. Facts. Because if I, well, you probably haven't seen Omar with which call it, but I would like Omar. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm actually all those side. I want you to better yourself and lose weight. Yeah, yeah. me too. But I'm yeah. gonna keep the your ass till you do all, it. It's the first time I've side. ever heard him say he went to lose weight. Ever. All See, those. it took me. That had nothing no, to do with you. Do he with said you. it happened a couple weeks ago. Yeah, this is this is they're, they're the building beginning a bubble, of the month. Bubble bath, bubble bath statue. It's the beginning of the in month. City. Oh, do you think the do you think online like the internet pressed you into losing weight? No, this is the beginning of the month, and I just did it at the end of a stream when it was only like it was only like. Four or five hundred people left in the stream. I, I pumped fake like I was going to leave, and then it dropped to like four or five hundred. Then I said, All right, for the real people who still in here, and then I just said it. Mm. Mm. So, this is your choice. Yeah, I'm happy for you though, man. Good luck in the next yeah, year. Yeah, man, I mean, you know, I, I accomplished a lot. This I, I literally presented it like I accomplished. So now it's a race. I accomplished a lot of things. Lose weight. Mm-hmm. And me to get fit. Best man yeah, win. but for you to get richer, you would have to like really invest a lot of time and energy into like something, bro. <sighs> I want to, it's not that hard nowadays. Girls to go poverty. from poverty to rich, nah. Ill- legally, not not illegally. No, not, that's not hard either. Yes, it I'm is. I'm not starting from poverty, bitch. You are starting from poverty. I'm starting from, I'm, I'm starting from poverty, nigga. Soup, soup kitchen. That's poverty. I don't know how you gonna do it, bro. NFTs, NFTs drying up. I may say a dinosaur before I used to get slim. <laughs> NFTs are drawing up, no cap. No, they are, 100%. That's tough, bro. I don't know how you're going to do it, bro. Crypto. Me neither. You got to have some money before you get into that now. Well, I'm and glad you, know. you did your first step. Stop eating late. Mm. All right, guys. On that note, they both wish each other well wishes. Oh, I wish, man. On their I, journeys. I wish nothing but the best, Hopefully man. John gets I rich wish, and Logan gets fit. I hope, you, I, hope, I hope you can start saving up, man. Getting them pennies. Yeah. Go to the coin machine at Kroger. Hope you stop driving past the gyms and actually go in there. Man. See what those equipment do. Hey, well, on that very positive note of yeah, well man. wishes from these two. Yeah, no, but positivity, it. man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, hope, I, hope, I hope he you know, moves out of his mom's house, man. Live by himself or do something. He can't live here forever. Man. You know, he can't, he can't live here. Stop walking around tracks, man. Stop walking tracks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Hope he. Well, I'm glad we was able to get that out the way, man. Got to gotta move on from that 97 mm-hmm. Camry, man. Mm-hmm. Or at least fix it, one or two. Because yeah. it's still not fixed. Yeah, yeah man. Still, so you you about to bring the land out of me. Still not, it's still you not about to bring the land out of me. <laughs> still let's not wrap it fixed, up. man. Yeah, let's, let's wrap, wrap it up. Let's sure. just wrap it up. But well, we have identical vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you keep fixing hey. yours. <laughs> oh, man. Even if, even if you put a dent in mine, it would still cost sixty to $70,000 more than yours. So, man, it's I, fine. I, I, you I'll, keep fixing it. I got the money to do it. I'm like you. Exactly. Yeah. On that note, man, I'm glad we were able to get all those parts. Or just take the whole vehicle. Just buy a new one. You got all the money. It don't matter. Yeah. Cause you kind of you got you kind of have that money to keep. Or it we could put them on bricks. You got you kind of have that have a, a money to keep it with a Tesla though. You know you gotta you know. You kinda have to, I don't need it. Niggas don't steal stuff to keep it. <laughs> mm, you should know that. Can sell it. You gonna sell it? Yeah. Yeah. Sell well, it. Make you buy thing, a new one. The thing is, they got these things in these new cars where like. It's called registration. You know, yours, I know yours is probably still registered under your mom, so you probably don't really know about that. But they have these things called registration, so you can't just sell my your stolen car. Nah. I, know, I know you haven't got to that point in life yet. I wouldn't want to sell yours. I don't want to drive it into something wet. You can't like drive it, bro. Like, You're not going to be able to drive it. You can't. I mean, that's how that's how cars work nowadays. If I have your key or your phone. You don't have neither one. Of them, if I take it from you, you're not going to catch me. Mm. May trip. Well, let's, like let's end it on a positive note. Then, Anything positive you like to say, John? They have these account, they have Tesla accounts, so I can just shut down the car. 
And yeah, that's, that's what happens see, nowadays. See, okay, I'm gonna get, wait, I'm wait, get wait, rich wait, wait. before he lose weight. Okay. Just all this, so I can throw it in your face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your fat face. <laughs> ah! Any any final words, John? Any positive final words? Uh, if you have a BOA Chase uh, Navy Federal, hit me up. Uh, John's just looking for a new bank. Yulo? He's trying to scam. That's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nasty. Um, I heard inflation is going down, so maybe some people will be able to bounce back. Hmm? Inflation is going I heard it's going down. Yeah. So hopefully some people can bounce back, man. Got it. And, and look, man, what a positive way to end things. If you guys enjoyed the man. podcast, if you haven't already, man, turn that like button. Blue! Appreciate y'all's watching as always, man. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.